Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bald and Bonkers show. Join your hosts Christopher Mole and Dakota Franson as they take you on a wild ride through the world of the supernatural with a humorous twist that'll have you laughing and shaking in your boots at the same time. From ghosts to aliens to cryptids, no topic is off limits on this show. And the best part? You don't have to be a believer to join in on the fun. So grab a drink, kick back and tune in every weekend for new episodes. And if you want even more of the Bald and Bonkers experience, be sure to subscribe to our Patreon page for exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Let's get weird. Oh, and for the whiners out there, viewer discretion is advised. There you go, you entitled pricks. Well, sorry, he's laughing because the entitled pricks bit of the intro always gets him. But, oh... Holy crap. Mm-hmm. Things have been getting weird. <laughs> they certainly have. I've put too many of these sweeties in my mouth all at once. I didn't expect that to happen. I like my sweeties, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, but you honestly... Like something in your mouth some days. Yes, well, you know, Dakota, it's you that showed me your pictures yourself. You, know, you still get that you one in you me and with banana. You still get that one in me with it. I probably have to go digging through but, Facebook, but yeah, it's ladies somewhere. And gen- ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of the news so far? I mean, I'm, I'm I know. going away, but I'm very cautious. I'm cautious of what's coming out. Well, we're going to have we'll probably have a few people pop in that don't necessarily watch Ghost Squad Scotland because they have more of a preference towards the UFO subject. But why don't you go into what you were dealing with last night, man? Oh, my God, that... Well, Gina in the chat there, she was, she had the same thing. I was, I was running, at the start, the beginning of the show, everything was going weird. My my internet was lagging really bad, and I was like, what's going on here? So I reset the route up, and I connected it to my 5G, and I was getting something, something ridiculous, like 500 meg per second internet, right? And I says, it can't be my internet. And... I was getting super fast internet because while I was resetting that, I, I checked that kind of get these speed tests. So I mm-hmm. checked that and it was getting like, it was way up into 500 meg and it was like 200 meg upload and all that. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing, this fight, you know. Mm-hmm. And and I said, my God, it's faster than my house internet. And I thought, right. So I started going with the show and then my, my show started crackling. Am I coming through to you okay right now? Right now we're fine, yes. I, it was absolutely fine. But I could hear voices. No, no, in my head, obviously. And and here I could hear like, you know how you pick up mobile, you know, mobile phones, the old fashioned phones for some of you out there, younger generation ones with the wires. And you used to be able to put them on. You used to be able to hear like neighbours talking. Mm-hmm. I could hear that, and I could hear like whispering. It was like, it was like one six five nine five three, and it was like American voices. And there were, and there was, I thought they were Irish, but the one day they were American. And they were like saying one six five, and they were it was like codes. That's how they were talking to each other. There was a woman's voice and a man's voice, and they were like contacting each other. But I went through the show, and my, my, I was getting laggier and laggier and laggier. And then, <laughs> oh, and then in Drew's abandoned paranormal vlog, she was hearing the slightly the same thing. She could hear like voices and stuff. And then all of a sudden, I started. One of the guests started talking about a UFO experience near the end of the show. And all I heard was the voice going, she started talking 19665. She started talking 1144, like that, about subjects. And I'm like, what? I could hear this. And I was like, what is going on here? And then it stopped. As soon as I said it, it was like, it just stopped. Then I muted my mic. I could still hear it. And they all muted their mics, and I could still hear it. It was so weird. And I see, there was a man said something. There was a man says they've started talking again, and then the man said again, he says, "Oh, you you're not talking about me." See, see, the thing is, I don't know if they had an attachment, right? There was spiritual voices and and amongst that, right? I will say this: you know, there was something attached to them, right? And it was talking, but there was something else. So there was something else at the start of the show. I found it strange. There was a few strange sounds. It was it was odd, right? Mm. It was all felt laggy, and I just couldn't explain it. And it was so weird. 
And see tonight, look at look at me tonight. I'm connected to my house and all that. I'm only getting I'm only getting a hundred meg per second tonight, and everything's fine. Mm-hmm. I just don't know. Here's a thing that was going on. It's like we got to talking about it. He was telling me more about it. I had to basically with all these UFO stuff. I've had a bunch of people start messaging me, asking me what I know about, say, like the incident in Vegas, which we'll get to. Um, yeah. I, I do want to say uh, I really hope it's this is just really bad timing. We were supposed to have a UFO in investigator from yes. Buffon joining us yes. however he had to cancel last minute due to a family emergency and which uh, by all means yes yeah. for the love of god it. you're more than welcome to, to reschedule you know we're not yeah. we're not gonna bash you because of that you know family I, sucks you know especially when they're I, down i just don't know there's there's something going on there the internet's a buzz we all what's happened with with that guy coming out for the pentagon and that obviously what happened oh in Las God. Vegas with the with the UFO and the police officers. I mean, that's actually quite spectacular. Do you see the, that, the that, UFO? Th- oh, my God. That is a cat. I mean, this is why I say, you know, you, we have all these people say, you know, Lex Paranormal, at, just as an example. Yeah, I'm going to put you on the spot, motherfucker. <laughs> Well, who tries to say, if UFOs are happening so much, like people are saying, why aren't there more pictures being that everybody's got a camera on them nowadays? Sometimes, it's dumb luck. And quite frankly, that officer had some of the best fucking dumb luck. And I hope, I hope... That was, yeah, it, it, he caught, he goes to respond to the scene. You, they, you know, the, all the news reports, they play the call in to 911. You can hear the dispatcher thinking that this is just another crazy person. It's Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no, I, I can't blame the judgment. But then the officer responds to the scene. And as he responds to the scene, he, not only does he see something fly off, his body cam catches yeah. it. The cruiser caught it too. The cruiser caught caught. See the cruiser camera in the front of the car. Yeah, it caught it too, and it's like a green flash like coming up and then boom, shoot, shooting away, which is quite interesting because the person, the the boy that was working in his car, in the garage, he said he heard this thump. It was like something coming down really hard, going thump, and he went out. His father, him and his father went out, and there was this big tall thing. Just there was two of them. See, a lot of people didn't realise this, but there was actually two of them standing together. One was standing behind the other one. And they kind of ran off. And then when the, the boy went out to the police officer, you see this green light appearing in the sky and just shooting off. Yeah, that, that's the whole reason why the incident's being taken serious. Even the police are seeing something. And one thing I noticed is that that fits a description of an incident my mom told me about back in November where she saw a green flash of light all of a sudden disappear while she was on her way to work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not just that. I mean, look at the... I've not uploaded the picture, guys, but there was a, there was a UFO sighting three days ago and it was it was travelling with the UF, uh, with the red arrows a thousand miles per hour. Yeah. It was keeping up with them. In fact, it was going... It was actually... It's as the red arrows were firing in like formation, and it was sitting, it was sitting with them all the way. Mm-hmm. That's not a drone. Well, yeah, drones that... can't go that fast. Drones go that <laughs> I fast. would love to. I would love to see a drone that would be able to make those maneuvers. I just think we need to be careful, though. I know that this is coming out quite quick, which I find, I find there's just something not quite right about it. I think. Obviously, what you were saying about who the aliens might be, they're more really, they're more like government extraterrestrials. What can you tell me about the extraterrestrials that we're seeing? So, what were they then? Not government. Well, they are tied to government, yes. And, uh, Dot, I believe you can actually validate me on this one. It was in in the telegram, one of the telegram groups I'm in, uh, for Dr. Michael Sala. Elena obviously was getting a lot of questions, and even she was saying that this does not sound like something she's familiar with. She's familiar with taller grays. You know, there's a mm-hmm. lot of races out there that have bigger 
eyes than typical humans here on Earth. But the big mouth kind of threw her off, so she went to ask her context. I did the same thing. Roughly around the same time, we both started hitting the airwaves. My th- thought process is like, if it is a legitimate being, it would have to be some sort of hybrid. Elena stated that these beings were most likely, they were non-biological, was the official statement mm-hmm. from her contacts with the Federation, otherwise known as synthetics. That real yeah. crews are not risked for these types of motives. And that one of the military bases near Las Vegas, and there's several, is participating in the global disclosure program. And the reason why it does seem like this stuff is moving so fast is because they are trying... Our side is basically took over the Blue Beam situation that everybody's freaking out about. Mm-hmm. They took that over, and they're trying to push it to where... The people that wanted to repress this stuff all along, they cannot hold it back. They're trying to push and push. They're going to make it to where... I mean, with that, David Grush, he even said, we're not alone. There's several whistleblowers. I mean, there was a one in Sumatra that responded, that was deployed in the 2009 tsunami that hit the area. It had like a black octangle with a pyramid on the top. Wish, wish this I keep. I've not had a chance to look, guys. I'm sorry because I was away the day day in the K go stuff and all that. We Drew's abandoned part of the, in, in the chat there. Wish this that I, I see that Russell Brand's talking about it. That seemingly they're saying now that they've got bodies. They've got bodies. Uh, was it mm-hmm. was it Roswell? So they have got bodies. For Roswell's Roswell, well, and yeah, South America. They're, they're, yeah, there's been with, with there has been bodies recovered in Brazil. And not, and there were, I should rephrase, there were survivors. The Americans yeah, bargained with the uh, Brazilians in order to bring them up here. There was a survivor of Roswell that we all knew about. And like you said, they're even saying something that we talked about here on the show is that some of these craft that allegedly came down, they were joyriders. They were outside see, seeing, that's, that's what then think, something right? went wrong. See, see I, I think, right, I don't know if this is, because I'm in the UFO field now, I'm not hungry, but see see the Roswell crash. Do you not think it was something to do with the nuclear tests? Actually, that's it. It was maybe believed something. to be what's going on. That's possibly what's going on. Right. So the word test and nuclear weapons all the way up, until the late 80s, right? So, Mm -hmm. and there's been crashes in South America and stuff like that. I think, I I was was watching something one night, and it was this top UFO guy, I I think it was, I was actually, what's his name? It was, oh, Dr. Stephen Weary was going on about this. And he was saying that every time we detonated a nuclear bomb, it did something to this, a different reality that Mm -hmm. these creatures came from. Every Mm -hmm. time it would look, it would cause disasters in their reality, their world. So, I've, see, this is the thing. This is I want to place. I want to think. Oh yes, it's coming. We've finally got disclosure here and that. But I just, I'm very, very cautious in the U.S. government because I know what they're like and I know what they can do. Not just the U.S. government, the British government. We're diabolical for it. Can't I mean? Because look at the UFOs that's been that's at that air show three days ago, four days ago now, with the red arrows. That was over. That was over a military base. Mm-hmm. And then you talk. It's you talk about Rangeland Forest. You talk about mm-hmm. you talk about how they turned off the nuclear missiles and stuff like that. You look at you look at Ukraine. They know where all the UFO sightings in Ukraine's off the scale. Yeah, you know I mean, it's. Mm-hmm. I just think. I feel like something really big and amazing is about to happen. But I feel that there's people working against it to try and stop it at the same time. And they're outnumbered, though. I, maybe they're outnumbered, but I still think they'll try and pull something off. I really do think... Oh, no, 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 they're going to because they they don't know what else to do. You know, yeah. it's, I've said it several times on the show. Tommy Lee Jones said it best in Men in Black. The person is smart. People are dumb. Yeah. That's quite interesting what uh, Dobie Sox said. 
I think that. <laughs> yep, we have a guest that suddenly had a family emergency when we got talking about this. In, in fact, as I was saying yep. earlier, but then we kind of got distracted. Chris and I got to talking about what he was going through last night, and I was hearing somebody patch in. Yeah. I, I, there were certain tones, you know, like, like at the beginning when you would start logging into dial up, you hear that, you know, that mm -hmm. I was hearing something that sounded a lot like that. It's like somebody's tapping in. That's why I put the message out as the intro was playing for people to bust out their headphones because the, this, the link's been compromised. I can, for the last four days, non stuff, I've had like. It's like that weird tide night and stuff, whatever it's called in your ear, right? And it's every nice, time yeah. I say, listen, I'll let you talk, it goes away. It, it's weird. It's, it's it's like, I don't know if it's like, it's a warning thing for me to watch out for. I just feel they are watching, I think they're watching us all. Everybody in that chat, if you are into UFOs and you are into this kind of stuff, you're getting watched. Everybody's getting watched right now. Because yeah. they are scared. I think they're scared because they know that their time is nearly up. Hmm. Mm, yeah, speaking exactly. of speaking of which, it, this is not directly involved with UFOs, but it, it is all in the same time. Remember what I was saying about Robert Kennedy Jr.? Oh, you said something about that in the video get tender. Yeah, yeah. He was doing an interview with Mike Tyson, and he got to talking about the assassination of his father and uncle, JFK. Yeah. He felt saying he felt, and I'm saying this and just remember, I, I would just, we're backed up on rumble where we go out to about 50 plus yeah. different programs just because we expect shit to happen. So if all these episodes get, go to disappear, you know, we've pissed somebody off. Oh, yeah. He, now, when you think about it, if anybody's going to know, about what happened that day. It's going to be immediate family. When it comes yeah. to the JFK assassination. So he goes to talk about it. He said he fully believes that the CIA had a major role. YouTube took the interview okay. down. Aye. Exactly. And, you know, there's a number. He's He even talks about it on his Twitter feed. Now, granted, politician. He's trying to run for president. So he may tr be trying to go with what everybody's talking about. Understandably so. But in the same time, he's getting harassed, being called a conspiracy theorist. So I was like, motherfuckers, if anybody's <laughs> going to know, if anybody's going to know what happened that day. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, there's my brother in the chat. I told you I had been abducted. Sometimes I wish, Drew, they never brought you back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. In fact, if he's a blessing extraterrestrials up there, he stays in London, I'll give you the address after. You should go and take him to the planet Zorg or something like that for a couple of months. He'll Dog, tell you all about his fascination with tanks and guitars. Yeah, why do you think they brought him back? I know. They didn't take him away for long. They only had him away for about 20 minutes or something like that, didn't they? Oh, no, but the, yeah. oh, dude, that just, for somehow that just reminded me of something. Oh, Ann Bender! Oh, that lady. Yeah. This wonderful yeah. lady. I can only imagine yes. this thing she's picking up on with everything going on oh, in the I... world right now. But, you know, there was a news report I came out. Uh, there was another one that's tied to, you know, whistleblowers going towards Congress. And I didn't have much time to look into it because I barely saw it just before we started to come on and set up. There was a, a one ship that, that was spotted and this group went in. They said the inside was like the size of a football field. Obviously, mm -hmm. talking about American football for our international audience. Yes, we play. Well, I don't the, know why you play like football because yours is a ball and yours is more like a. But Disney ball. I'll just keep telling you what you're talking about. It's more like hand it. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a whole nother show, Mister Aluminium. Yeah. A story for another time, as Mike would say. <sighs> but the outside of the ship was maybe thirty feet in diameter, while the inside was. Like the size of a football field. It's like, holy How fuck, do do Doctor that? Who got it right. Yeah, I know. It's like, that was my exact thought. It was like, holy shit. Holy shit, the fucking TARDIS is real. <laughs> I need a bag like that. I need, I need like a cupboard. Like a, like a cupboard that I can put all my stuff in and then shut the door. You know? Right. It, it, <laughs> look, obviously, they're using a lot of these extra. That's weird. Did you hear that? 
Did you hear that? Mm. It was like a. Yeah, it, it was like. It was like a pop. It was. Did you not hear that? Did any of you hear that about a minute ago? And it was. It was like. It was like a pop. It was like somebody picking up a phone. That's what it was like. It was like a pop. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna people listening to this show. You're if, if pay attention to all of our socials. We're gonna report if something happens. Yeah. Listen, listen, now, the, the now they can't listening. necessarily do anything physically to us because yeah. that would only back what we're saying tonight. Yeah. Pop goes the weasel. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> Pop goes the weasel and. It's. I think it's happening again. I think it's. They're talking. Look, if we disappear and we're horribly disappeared, some you guys in the chat are going to have to take over and look for us. You yeah. don't know that's what might happen. They might. It's like some of these people in in real life that have thought they've contacted the extraterrestrials, and then the next day they've just disappeared. And or with. Yeah, all of a sudden they, the story goes that they go into rehab and all of a sudden, you know, they don't, they just look like a, you know, a good doppelganger, you know, all of a sudden they're missing birthmarks and, you know, speaking a different, you know, That's basically it's a, a, I've got no, I've got no noise running about me. Oh, it's happening again. I can hear talking. I can hear talking. I heard something there. I think. I think that obviously they're into this kind of thing. Well, maybe try putting your headphones on your mic to I don't see know if, if anything comes that. through. No, no, no. I know. It's just like think about. It. Yo, shh. I physically went in and started messing with your settings to say something, Chris. My screen's out. My screen keeps going out. <laughs> oh, this is getting fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're fucking bugged, man. Did you know, see that you're bugged. Show? Yeah, I saw the brightness on you kind of adjust a little bit, like your screen went dark. Wait, I'll turn this up a wee bit. I can turn up my main light a wee bit. Is that better? I know. No, just, no, I'm just saying. Anything. That's interesting. Wait, but no, you fuck me? What are you back him for? <laughs> Come on, seriously. You've got trillions of dollars, US government, and you're bugging me. Again. Possibly Again. because I would know how to spot it quicker. But it's not as if I can get rid of it. It's not as if I can get rid of the bugging. How do you get rid of bugging? Do you get like a spray well, or something? First... <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Here's what you do. You take all of your electronics, your computers, your iPads, your iPhones, everything. Your Siri, your, your, your Alexa. You put it in the bathtub. You run the water. But it, 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 it's like, <laughs> well, why would they want to bug me? I think it's just but, this that's bugged. I honestly just think it's this that's bugged, you know? John Morris, the CIA MI6, are watching all of us. I'm sure of it. Yes. Oh, yeah, because I've invited retired CIA agents to come on the show. I thought I heard something there again. It's weird because it's, it's every now and again, every now and again, it's like, it's like, it's like, so you ever get the phones in your houses, the ones with the wires, right? Or it's, and it was ever worked in an office where I, it was at the school when I went to school and that they had these phones you could listen, you pick it up and you could hear what people were saying. Again, it was like a, it was another phone connected to the other phones. You could listen into their conversation. You have no chance. Chris loves his what? Loves his gadgets. Chris loves his gadgets. <laughs> I know. That's why I said that. <laughs> but here's the thing. But, it's true. But it's, a Faraday cage can actually I, I be compromised, too, if not 
built appropriately there, Dobby. But the thing is, why bug me? It's, I mean, it's like, it's like somebody going to bug Benny Hill or something like that. Okay? I mean, it's, it's not as if I'm the, the architect of the world order that's about to become the new age of humanity. It's not as if I'm in charge. Why don't they date to Elena or, or date to you? Or they try with other? Elena. They, they try it with Elena all the time, but something fights back. But why bug me? I mean, have you seen her videos of her, her recent trips to the Middle East? She had no things idea. in the sky flying around her. Yeah, I guess. In fact, not a lot of That's people not, actually know this. You can, you can, you can, there are long distance listening devices that use lasers. And their range is hundreds of miles if done appropriately. Listen, whoever's listening to me right now and whoever's bugged me right now, I think you should bug Drew's Abandoned Paranormal Vlog Scotland. It's amazing what you would learn from her. She knows a lot more about the UFOs than I do. <laughs> they just can't understand her. <laughs> Aye, maybe if, I, maybe, if I, maybe, maybe, their, maybe their artificial intelligence will take a meltdown if it's if turned into Mrs. Doubtfire for the night. Oh, hello, dearie. Do you know, there's an American that he was messaging me, wanting me I don't know, Mrs. South, that's terrible. Oh, hello, dearie. You gotta be careful about responding to some of those Ooh. messages. You may accidentally respond to someone's fetish. Mm. Now, I date sometimes for on the lives. When I'm doing lives, they'll say it in the chat and they'll say, Oh, kid, when you're Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, hello there, dearie. There's a man in a bunker somewhere in the United States, you know. He's, he's listening to every word that I'm saying right now, you know. God, I would love to. I wish I had my old CB. Well, for a I second, I think you've got to say, I love Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a good movie. <laughs> what do you want an old CB for? You can buy them off of Amazon for like 30 quid. No, I, I, like my old CB, I had one, but it you know, broke. Roger, Roger, this is the rubber duck. Maybe I'll, get, I'll start Drew off in the chat again. That's my brother Drew, he's right in the convoy of the film. So, no, I mean, things are getting, actually stepping up so much. I've put out a notice with some of my contacts in local law enforcement to let me know if they spot anything. Mm, you know. Uh, so what other yeah. what other strange news is happening? What other things with the UFOs is happening? Uh, I, uh, I see we're going to have to set up like a uh, we're going to have to set up a ticker or something to keep track because that's how fast the shit's moving. See, I see, I see the the the, the Pentagon's basically agreed with that guy that's the whistleblower. Is that the agreed yeah, guy? David Grush. Yeah. <sighs> I don't look. I don't think he has a whistleblower. I think he's been told to do this, right? He's been like, "Look, go and do it." He's been given authorization. Yes, come on, look at look at Edward Snowden. He leaked some documents, and now he's in bloody Russia because he's. Uh, if he comes back, he, he'll probably face five thousand years in jail. I was about to say, you know, the, actually, that's a very good point. So, you know, think about when Edward Snowden stuff was coming out. It. F- if everything was not nowhere near as important as politicians were trying to say, officials yeah. were trying to say, why did they spend so much time trying to hunt him down before he got to Russia? Because they had secrets that he's obviously shared with Putin. And look, Putin's Putin's come out multiple times and says that aliens are real. Mm hmm. Right? There's multiple times that he said it. And I find it interesting where Obama take is he did that he can either confirm or deny that extraterrestrials have visited there. Oh, he or was just screwing with people. Uh, he was screwing with people. Look, I don't think that the presidents know the full story. I really don't. Especially know that one that you've got to know. He's probably one of them about the, the Oval Office somewhere looking for his trousers. You know, something yeah, they bring I mean, up on but, ancient aliens a lot, not a lot of people realize just how true it is. There's levels of, you know, people naturally assume the President of the United States, he's going to have the highest security clearance in the country because that would be his job. But yes. no, the CIA managed to arrange it to where there's at least 20 levels above him. I don't think. The president of the United States, I is is the commander in chief and stuff like that, right? 
but there's people above him that are so deep. It runs deep. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's obviously the black, and this is when it does get dodgy. This is when the, this is when they listen to you. We're always talking about the dark government, the black government that runs the world, right? The secret world government. And you think about what they know, Kevin, okay, what I mean? Drew Mole, what's that? NSA, I've got the NSA, I mean, the CIA, you've got... Look, it runs deep. There's even organisations out there that have got more power than the CIA or NSA. They're called, and they've got their own, basically, military. They've got their own jets, they've got their own helicopters, gunships, they've got their own battleships, or well, destroyers don't use battleships anyway, they've got their own destroyers, they've got their own nuclear submarines, they've, look, they've got their own military, right, their own military. You notice I'm talking about this, I'm starting to break up and so are you. Oh god, dance! It's not disclosure, <laughs> it must be Grey Pride. Grey Pride Month. Oh, just as we all know, there's plenty of people who are all for Fifty Shades of Grey's. I've never seen it. Have you? Eh, bits and pieces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Will you fast forward through it? <laughs> hey, in my defense, it was just awkward knowing that this, I had the same name <clears throat> as the lead lead woman in it. But hey, yeah, no. look. Well, you don't look like her. That's that's one thing. You, you don't share that. Something like I mean, no, can you imagine no, if the name. guy came, can you imagine if the guy came out of the bedroom with always with his always chains on and stuff and his twips and stuff like that, and you were standing there? He'd be like, "Holy fuck! What the fuck happened there? Where is the woman?" You know, whips out. I, I don't know. Anyway, Some of those. Anyway. Th- hey, just, you're the one confessing about your. You know, du- People love this You're the one you know, people... confessing about your dominatrix there fantasies, man. Some of them well, don't no, care as long as they still get the paycheck. Learn something about Dakota. He's got all the leather stuff and all that, and the kind of buckles. And... But anyway, that's the story. Ah, not the, not the not this time of year. The leather shrinks. Oh, I, how do you get into that? By the way, do you use like talcum powder or something to stop the friction? No, no, that's the that's thing. It's like it's this time of year is not a good time for it because the leather <clears> shrinks <throat> when you sweat on it. Mm. Can you imagine that today, Drew? And that's uh, Drew. I'm talking to Drew's paranormal. Can you imagine that in the heat today, 32? <clears throat> I'm wearing nothing but leather. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I doubt how that would be sexy. Sounds walking through the, the graveyard. Hmm. Oh and the, ladies God, and gentlemen, awesome. as you all know, we live up to the name Bald and Bonkers. Exactly, ladies and gentlemen. But look, let's face it, <laughs> the UFO disclosure is happening. I would have thought the world would have been in panic. You know, I thought the folk throwing themselves out of windows, people burning themselves in the streets, their religions crashing to the ground. But will that still yeah. happen when they all arrive in their spaceships? Because there's still a bit of deniability. While, yes... When it comes to the, uh, you know, like the body cam footage from the Vegas incident on May first, that type of a camera in itself is a lot harder to physically manipulate just because of how the lens works. There, but there's still deniability. It's like, oh, it's, you know, everybody was making fun of the fact where I said it's Vegas. Trust me, you don't know what goes on in Vegas. <laughs> well, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Why do no, you think I Zach Bagan set up shop? Exactly. Mike, where are you? Yes, we, Mike's probably haunting him the news as we speak. Look, I mean, when do you think we'll start seeing like mass spaceships above cities and stuff like that? We're supposed to start seeing it by next next two years, minimum. Do you think? Do you think the Project Bluebeam you were talking before the show, the Project Bluebeam and stuff, and how you're saying they hijacked it and stuff like that? Do you think? Do you think they've got to use that so as they don't get shot down? So obviously, if they shoot it, it will harm. But let's face it, our technology is amazing. I get. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely Project Bluebeam. Yes, there's a lot of people still trying to push that narrative, but. That whole operation's been compromised by our side. 
we've taken it over. Yes, it might. It's going to still be utilized, but not in the way that it happened before. And if they do try yeah. to push that false al- false flag alien invasion, it's going to be nowhere near as severe as they wanted it to be. See, I've I've heard it on the you get it on YouTube, you get it on TikTok loads. That they're going to be Project Bluebeam. They're going to they're going to fly these artificial spaceships over London, right? And then stealth bombers are going to fly over and bomb the city, and they're going to blame it the aliens. You know how they'll notice the stealth bombers? Are they stupid or something? Here's the thing, like we talked about before, <clears throat> this whole narrative of trying to control the population. The first thing, and world government, anybody who knows studies just basic human psychology know this if you want to divert people's attention all you have to do is take away the, their basic needs for survival all right if you their, like, all right if you, you know, start water the shelter yeah, exactly and and huddle once one saw the bombs start going off say they start say they set off a few bombs and say oh it was the aliens for space it, they could easily do that and then they say oh everybody has to move into the cities for safety and this is where the 15 minute cities come into because you know they all get the population all grouped together they're getting mm-hmm. people out the villages and stuff like that see this is i think this is the agenda all along people i was talking to somebody yesterday about it oh i in the future i wonder what cars will be like the future see in the future i don't think there will be cars i think there'll be these drone things that drive you about and i think everybody will share them because everybody will live in these 15 minute cities where we're watched 24-7 of the day. Get what I mean? I honestly here, think that's what's going to happen. But here's the thing. If we go to ascend, as people try to say, to the level of a lot of these ET societies, there's going to be no need for that type of surveillance because everybody's going to just be able to tell what's going through someone's head just yeah. because of how much they're developed. As far, in fact, with humans, one of their first, one of the dead giveaways of a human surrounded by aliens is that the human broadcasts their thoughts way too much. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say a, a film here, and, and what's happened in the last week is kind of like this movie. You ever seen the film with Mel Gibson, and it's called Signs? Oh it's yeah, and stuff. And he yeah. lives, he lives, and he lives in a, he lives in a, a farm. With his brother, which is like a, he's a, he's a baseball player or something like that, and a little girl and a little boy. Mm-hmm. And what ha- starts to happen, there's like strange UFOs appear around the world. And then there's a sight near you, there's like a sight near an alien in a family's garden at a party. This is this is kind of what's happening now. See, this is quite interesting because mm-hmm. it's, like, it's like the movie's playing out, and then everybody's told to like lock up. And everybody locks up and hides, and then the big invasion begins. The invasion begins, and people are stole, but people are kidnapped to these extraterrestrials. But the extraterrestrials are terrified of water for some reason. They won't go near water. Water is like is a like poison to them. Mm-hmm. Do you know? Do you know? Feel like this is a wee bit like the science film. <clears throat> In a way, yeah. Because if we look at the extraterrestrials that visited the people in Las Vegas, right? Why did they probably they pack would them? have issues with water? Why did they pack them? Why did they pack that family to do that to? If I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> just based on what I've seen, I haven't really had a chance to look into the family yet because I would love to get them on a show one day. At least one of them has military service behind them. Yes. I, I've seen that. At least one of them has military service behind them. And so the boy, it could be a very, it could very well be a luck of the draw situation. It's like okay, yeah, he'll do. <laughs> but here's the interesting fact: the boy that said he's seen it is just got a TikTok now and all that, and YouTube, and he's he's big. He's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, telling his well, story. Yeah. Right, but <clears throat> I just feel that that was a total setup. It was a total setup from the start to the finish. And like you said, right, for the military base, that's where the problem was for. 
I just feel that this is the, like that film Signs with Mel Gibson. I feel, I feel like, I don't know Drew's abandoned paranormal, but why water hurt the aliens in the film Signs? I think they were but, trying to go for a salt on snails kind of approach when it comes to I, that. Yeah, I just feel like it might be heading in this direction. I, I'm, I'm betting that something's going to happen. See, that's this, this, this week coming or next week. I bet you something comes out this week. Something happens next week. And something's going to come out every week. No. I bet oh, yeah. you it will. It's the going plan to get bigger is... and bigger and bigger. And maybe these sightings are going to come happen. Eh? That's the plan. More and more of these sightings are coming forward in yeah. our context on the other side. And a lot of people, you know, try to keep an eye on me because they realize apparently Elena and I fly the same galactic circles. That's the plan. They're going to basically try... Basically, the plan is to fill up the water behind the wall dam so so high to where the dam bursts, yeah. and it so what, is leaking. So what they're going to do, basically, is they're going to be a lot more videos out there of aliens looking around corners. Oh, look at this CTV camera that catches an alien. Oh, look at this CTV camera. There's another alien, and they'll be all different ones, and eventually, the internet will be a buzz it, and then they'll appear. I'm telling you, this is. I'm telling you, this is. What's I mean, th- th- I mean, think about it. Let's like we're seeing ever since <clears throat> that whistleblower stuff happened, we're seeing a lot more of coverage of everything that news broadcasters were making fun of. The idea that we've reversed engineered alien craft, all of this. They're seeing a lot more coverage of it. it it's happening, folks. We <laughs> see. This is this is what I worry about, Terry. And I know that the extraterrestrials, the, the nice ones out there, want us to be better and stuff. But do you know things, right, when the public finds out for sure that there is excess out there, the financial system will collapse? That's kind of the plan. Yeah. It will collapse because, and some churches will collapse too, let's base it. And <laughs> I don't think there'll be a need for like vehicles and stuff like that in the future. Petrol ones, anywhere, diesel ones, because obviously they'll give us technology. Their technology will surface there because if they've got the technology for there, these ships and stuff, there'll be technology there to make a car run 10,000 miles and next to nothing. Yeah, you see where I'm going with this the technology, this the system that we live in, the new the system that we use and we rely on will crumble within a year. I mentioned this on. <coughs> few shows before but there's actually a committee when it comes to the industrial complex that finds corporations if their products are too good that's why it seems like things only last until the warranty like the warranty ends then the next day shit breaks they corporations get fined but when it comes to these technologies the the main thing the why there's been so much why the military has been wanting to use them so much ever since they first caught wind of it, especially around the 1940s, is that there was very little need for maintenance. Yeah. Very little. Now, granted, it's one of those situations that if something goes wrong, you're fucked, because, you know, the one thing you never want to hear an astronaut say while in outer space is, uh oh. What's that dot saying, MC, at the bottom there? The, the, gig, the giggle fact? That is starting to be left behind on MSM. Good sign. What's, what's he saying there? The giggle. <clears throat> okay, for like situations like Project Stargate and everything associated with that, there's almost kind of a slang <clears throat> when it came to military operations about how much this is going to be made fun of. Yeah. That's the giggle factor. Right. Here's, here's another thing I want to bring up, and it is kind of about the UFO disclosure, and it is kind of about what's happening in the world right now. Have you seen all the wildfires in Canada? Yep. Have you seen the pictures of New York City? Yeah, looking like a Martian surface. And looking, it looks like something out of Blade Runner. It really does look like something out of Blade Runner. What I found quite interesting was that if you look at the satellite views of Canada, see all the fires... And I'm going to tell you something here. This is quite interesting, ladies and gentlemen. The, all the fires in Canada started at the exact same time. Mm-hmm. Right? Do you know that the police in Canada are investigating all the fires for arson? Mm-hmm. 
do you not feel that they're doing this deliberately so as they can say, oh, this is climate change, right? So as they can try and bring in Orwellian laws to say, right, you have to get rid of your car you have to do you have to do this you have to do that and get rid of, get rid of your petrol cars and diesel cars and stuff so as they can bring this in so it's, i feel like the aliens are here to try and help us and stuff but at the same time they're bringing this in they try and to like blind their eyes so as we look in the opposite direction did you you know find that because let's face it everybody's talking about this isn't it oh look at new york i mean jesus god almighty you can't, it was ridiculous. It was looked like New York City had been transported to Mars. I mean, I Mars is clearer than that. <laughs> yeah, because it's it, never really been like that before, has it? Unless, you know, Mars, unless there's a major windstorm on the Mars surface, yeah. Okay, here's the thing. See, that's what it says. The, the, oh. the official statistic when it comes to fires is that at least 49% of them are human caused. Yeah. Majority of that usually suspected to be dumbasses with fireworks or uh, gender yeah. reveal parties like the major California one. And yeah, they're going to be inspecting it for arson because, once again, people are dumbasses. See, That's why there's always an increase in body count when it comes to Yellowstone this time of year. People are saying, oh, Ju- the 4th of July and all that's coming up and stuff like that. You can, you, and, and they said there was people setting off fireworks and stuff like that. It's Canada. Come on, there must be so, some bloody... Uh, the fucking the Canadians team. have a, a firecrackers that are called the American Schoolhouse. Really? I didn't know. Yeah, that. I I they have that shit. Ch- <laughs> yeah, and it looks like a high school building. You, mm. you set it off, and it's like a bunch of firecrackers are going off on the inside to simulate a school shooting. Oh, my God. See, that's interesting, but Dodge says again, smoke is a good cover. That is a good cover. Mm-hmm. It yeah, makes knowing, you wonder. I mean, knowing how thick-headed some New Yorkers are, the whole you, warnings about wear a mask. Everybody's going to be going out with major respiratory issues for the see, rest of their that's lives. That's what I find. That's what I do find interesting. There was one person talking about it in the news in America, I think it's CBN or so. I can't remember. It was a news American station I was watching, and they were saying, "Whatever you do, do not breathe in the fumes. Fumes they're highly, highly toxic." Mm-hmm. It's burning wood. It's burning plant life. Is there something else going on here that we don't know? Eh? It, the, the purest of smokes can still fuck up your lungs. I know, but what, what I'm trying to say is, is there some? <laughs> there's been a lot of videos out there with like this weird stuff on the roads when it's been raining, and the roads actually kind of look so soapy coming down for the rain. Yeah, I've seen and, that. Aye, I've seen actually. See, there's, seen a that there's a truck driver. There's a truck driver. He's like, "What is the hell's going on?" For like, for like nearly sixty miles, it was just all like soapy. Yeah, that's soapy. That's ass. Yeah, that's acid rain. It's not necessarily, yeah. you know, it's a lot like, you know, a windstorm. You know, people in Florida not going for cover. It's not, you know, to quote Ron White here, it's not that the wind is blowing. It's what the wind is blowing. <laughs> I've also heard this theory. I don't know if it's true. I've got I've got friends that stay in Los Angeles, right near, near Los Angeles, and they were telling me the other day. See, for the last couple of weeks, it's been really cold there, and it shouldn't be. The weather pattern that's running through the U.S. right now that's actually causing it to be about roughly twenty degrees cooler than it would normally would be about this time of year. Mind you, it's seventy five Fahrenheit over here right now. This time yeah. of year it usually gets to be about a hundreds for me, but the weather pattern, it's the way it's hitting Los Angeles is where the major stream is actually going for. Yeah. The way it's hitting the U.S. is what's causing all the smokes to con- from the Canada wildfires to concentrate towards yeah. the East Coast. So yeah, it is a little odd. I, I mean, right, I'm going to say this, I'm in Scotland, right, it's a little odd the weather that we're having right now. We only nice. usually, I mean, I don't know if Drew will agree with me in the chat, and Drew's abandoned paranormal in the, the chat there, but the weather's warmer than usual. It's weird. See? It's Scotland. It's, Everybody freaks out when I, it's a beautiful day. I know. What's that? <laughs> Whoa, one, one, two, six, two. I'm Alberta, Canada. It's been reported as arson is at work 80%. See, that's what I mean. 
the police yeah. are investigating it. I watched the satellite. I watched there's a sat there's loads of videos on that, and it shows the fires are starting. Do, 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 all basically at the same time, in the same day, or at the same time, within like 10, 15 minutes apart, all starting boom, 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 all the way down. I mean, who's doing it? Who's doing this? Is it terrorists that's doing this? Is it spies for you know where Russia or whatever is doing this? Or is it people want to bring in their climate rules so as they can tax the poor and take away your car and stuff like that? And this is where Same. this is the thing where people really need to be careful before they're jumping on the hand train because I've been seeing people like, oh, it's all direct energy weapons. Oh, Canada's just mm-hmm. using drones with flamethrowers. Okay, take much first off, fire. <clears throat> you'll, yeah. The drones with flamethrowers, that is a legitimate firefighting tactic. It's fire break. That's basically, it's, ch- it's supposed to help choke out the fire. Yeah, it's That's a fire legitimate breaks. thing. It's called fire breaks. Yeah. We may know that, but the dumbasses are trying to spread conspiracy theories and yeah. completely fudging up everything, I, halting our, any progress our, to figure out. I, that, it's all over, I, it's all over, it's all over yeah. TikTok. It's all over TikTok. Oh, look at this. There's a drone dro- dropping fire. And I put multiple... Uh, comments which I get banned off for site for saying it's a fire break. They burn the section, the control section, yeah. burn it so when the big fire gets there, it's got no fuel and it just dies. That's what it does. Yeah. Washington State here in the US, they frequently do controlled fires in their forest regions just to kill off any resources that a wildfire could use. And they have some of the lowest fire, wildfire rates in the country. California, yeah. take fucking notes. Yeah. Of course, you got to remember, Tay, you got to remember, Tay, long ago they used to let the fires burn, right? Yeah. They used to let a, a section catch fire, then the next year a section catch fire. And what I've noticed it here in Scotland, we've got a lot of like, pine trees. And what happens is the piney doles and everything falls and it gets deeper and it gets deeper mm-hmm. and it gets deeper. <laughs> and you're actually meant to let that burn. You're actually meant mm-hmm. to take that out and burn that. And... That's no happening. And what's happening in yeah. California is it just keeps falling and it's getting dry. Yeah, and yeah, dry. No. I know it takes somebody and, to and, bang a cigarette. Yeah, no, it's, no, this is a legitimate thing. California residents, they shot down any legislation that would have allowed firemen to be able to do that, to avoid yeah. everything. I mean, that one family that had the gender reveal party that has happened to pay trillions of dollars in damages, they probably wouldn't have to have that. Yeah, the family, the may, this was a, a couple of years back where one of the biggest wildfires in California history was traced back to a gender reveal party. Oh. The family was charged for everything, criminally. They're not going to be able to pay for that for the rest of their lives. You know, if California actually stepped in and did the proper measurements to prevent these fires, that probably would not have happened. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Look. The world is a bureaucracy. It's a madness. It really is. And hopefully our friends from beyond. I mean, let's face it, how many is there? How many different species is there in this galaxy? <laughs> At least a hundred that interact with this planet alone. Yeah. I mean, do you th- where do you think we'll be in a hundred years from now? They like, say the aliens can do and stuff like that, and say we start getting the telling each other. Where do you think humanity will be in a hundred years? Obviously, I'll be dead. You might still be alive, you know, but you'll be quite old. Where do you think we'll be? We'll be where we should have been. Yeah. Can you imagine what society would have been like, guys, in the chat and everybody that's listening to us, if we had the technologies in the nineteen sixties? We would yep. probably be living in Mars. We would probably colonized a few planets by now. Well, we would have offic- the public would have been officially aware of the colonization efforts that have already yeah. been taking place by private private corporations. But think about it: we have all of these environmentally environmentally friendly technologies that legislation is trying to push for that ain't going to be of any fucking use figures we've had that around since like the 20s the 1920s did you it's literally you you know they say always you know you always hear a talk about the lost century yeah we've had Mm -hmm. these in technologies since the 1920s we already knew how to make it but again 
people in power shut down anything that actually freaking worked. I know. And I'm amazed that your lives managed to last as long the night without them depilitating us. Either, either they know that we found out that the hang we knew and they've maybe left us alone. Maybe they're just sitting listening to us. Or maybe whoever's the new fucking person that was harassing you and Drew got pulled off. Nah, because they were making that seems That seems like a very rookie mistake to have made, though. Yeah. Damn FNGs. Ah, you know what it says. I'm looking forward to tomorrow night because obviously the discussion will continue tomorrow night about this. And, yeah, and I'll see if I can... I will go into TikTok and I will see if I can find some videos. And upload I... Them. Well, we'll see what happens. I've been reaching out to some well-known UFO people, some people that we've had on the show before, as well as some ones that we, we haven't. Hmm. And who knows... This is going to... Fuck, we may have to do more shows just to cover the UFO bit by yeah. itself. Yeah. <sighs> I think big but, things big things are coming, you know? Um, I, I think big things are coming, and I think... I think we're in the... I think we're about to see history being made. You know what? I think we're, we're about, about to see history. Where in where it's happened? Well, it's happening. It's happened. It's happening. I see. There's quite a lot of things that are now happening in Antarctica too. That the people oh, are not talking oh. about. Eh? And there's been a lot of strange things going on there too. It was weird as he said something again. It was like somebody clicked. Oh my god, that was just like somebody clicked a phone down. That was weird. That. Mm -hmm. it's just a wee click. It was like, can you hear that? That's all it fit. It was like somebody lifted a phone. See how my, my internet dropped there a wee bit. And you notice when the, when the sound comes through, my internet just drops a wee bit. As if they're taking a wee bit of the bandwidth up. Uh -huh. See guys, it's it's absolutely crazy what's going on. It really is. And I wonder what, what we got to talk about when the aliens eventually come. I know. We'll have to have one on for an interview. <laughs> Screw that. And <laughs> Everybody's waiting to see what happens with me because what everybody else in the world is going to call an alien invasion, I call a family reunion. Well, I mean, you're just going to have like 500 grandkids and children running about you screaming, going, Daddy, Daddy! Like that. And I'll be like, <laughs> Then you find out that you go up there and don't have a penis. I know. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine if you'd woke up, guys, and you're a different alien, and you don't have that? Can you imagine how devastating you'd be? Do you realize how much this man was actually freaking out after the last time we had Elena on? But can you? Know, but, but see, here's the point. What happens if you actually, like, you see, with all your pictures on Facebook and stuff like that, you look like a handsome young extraterrestrial from the planet. Hey, I don't know where. But, but anyway, what if you look totally nothing like that? What if you, you ever watched the Orville? What if you're just a blob with a big eye? And they don't want to tell no. you because they, they want to keep you in your mission. You've got loads of wee blobs running about for you. Uh, no, but that's the thing. I've seen my other body. Mm. I know what I look mm. like. I actually look a lot mm. like this, but, you know, with much sexier hair. Yeah, sexier. That, that, that's that, that's, the, that's the big hair. indicator. Except that is he, is his, his wife no, uh, no, is I'm, probably I'm, open pod and she's combing his long wavy hair. Nah, nah, I'm being pod serious. Like, Hello, I'm back. Nah, I'm being serious. You know, at the interview I did with Tony Rodriguez, I've been trying to work on putting together a timeline of my events. That's been the main indicator of when I can tell if I'm on Earth or if I've been up in I space. If it's possible. Whether or not if I've had hair. I wonder if it's possible to swap pods. Can I, please, Lord, can I, whoever, whoever the great Why is my I'm signal thinking? dropping right as I say this? Why, why, why can I not wake up first in the pod and swap pods with Dakota? What do you think, ladies and gentlemen, something with ten arms and legs and big tentacles coming out of season one? You know? Yeah, now that I think about it, it could be a lot like that movie Passengers, where if someone wakes from the stasis pods oh, too early, they could actually have that. some... 
they could be I like Lawrence mean. Fishburne. I'll, I'll, let me finish. It'd be like Lawrence Fishburne's character where everything in his body is just shutting down because he woke up too quickly. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. So, what are, <sighs> what are we, what's the show tomorrow? More discussion about UFOs and strange creatures from beyond the grave. We're going to see if we can find some more information about the stuff we've already talked about. Hey, maybe I yes. can tell you about the... A secret business meeting I have on Monday with someone you want. You've been trying to get convince me to get on a show for uh, quite some time. Yeah, who are you getting to win? Let me think. Uh, Not Elton in, John. No. No, Elton John. I want Elton John. I want to come on there playing his wee piano. What about? Give us a clue. Give everybody in the chat a clue. Come on. What's that? Be careful what you wish for, Chris. What do you mean? <laughs> if I want to wake up in a Odd looking with handsome, rugged, interesting. You know, I've just got to look like, you know, like James Bond or something like that. Can you film yourself doing it? We'll see if we notice you leave. Are you talking about, huh? like, with the, I think she's talking about, like, the abduction situations. You gotta remember, I'm seeing this only through StreamYard, and there's, like, a 30 second delay when it comes to the comments. Hi, question for you. Why don't you set up a camera video in you? And then it'll capture them beaming you up. Actually, what I want to do, this is actually something I've been thinking about, is uh, find my old security camera and link it up to my capture card so that way I can actually hook something up here. Because I've been able to do the, uh, dream, you know, like the sleep talking app and be able to catch mm -hmm. even more voices when I'm being taken. So mm -hmm. it could very well. So here's the thing. Is it ah? Uh, okay, I see what she's getting at. I see that's 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 a, that's the thing. You don't really that because it's it's a different dimensional travel. You could sit and look no, at somebody and it, but you wouldn't notice. No, there's uh. Every now and then, depending, it's again one of those things that relies on dumb luck. You can catch somebody leaving a body. If you do it just right, it's been done. I've seen it. I've seen it in people that's been, been done. Dying. I've seen it when people that's been dying, and you see like something coming out of their mouth, and it floats up, and it goes, Doop, and just disappears. It's like a wee orb. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know, we, you know, what we need to see when the extraterrestrials they land and they come out. We need to have somebody on this show, ways because he said that he doesn't think that they're visiting Earth is Lex for Lex Paranormal. We need to. We have to have a moment. We have to maybe get him an interview. Oh, a big blob. Uh. Like that you know. Brian, <gasps> Brian, are you watching? The aliens are coming for you, Brian. They're going to do terrible things to you. Nando, we're getting the loop for you. Nando, Tay, he's he's got a fascination with probes. I don't know. That is, by the way. Yeah, no, he seemed awfully excited when I made that joke. I know. He talks about it all the time. He's like, he gets really excited. He's probably sitting in the mirror with his big shiny thing there and he's getting all stuff with it, you know. But that's a story for another time, as Mike would say. Oh, yeah. Drew Gross asked, you could deliberately do something for the camera, could you not? If you have decent enough control over it, yes, but once again... All the best stuff that gets caught is usually by accident when it comes to this stuff. Yeah. So, so. There you go. So, what are you up to the rest of the night? What are you up to the rest of the night, Dakota? What strange alien abduction tonight? Uh, mm. Well, maybe. We'll see what happens. Mm. Well, you, should, you should do a live stream one night from outside at night and be able to watch it. You know, you never know. We get the aliens coming in and stuff. Like that. Be early in the uh, morning for me, but... You know? Now, I have some interesting photos that I haven't shown yet on the show that mm. I, I caught. I think I may have caught something by accident when I was trying to look for the, the Northern Lights, but that's that's another story. Yeah, it's a story for another for, for time. As much as I've drunk all my zesty beverages, I have to say that. Mm. Yeah, I wish I had a drink right now. I am thirsty as any after being out. We drew the day in the in the hills of Scotland, videoing and that. I'm awfully, awfully thirsty. I think I've got probably heat stroke. 
but there's a thunderstorm rolling in. I can hear the rumbles in the distance. Yeah, the top of your head does look a little red right there. So it does look a bit red. Have you? I, I don't know if Andy's looked. I, if I turn my light off, it's so noticeable. But uh, it's it's like it's like like I can you notice it. It's red over my eyebrows, right? It's red over here, and it's a complete white stripe all the way around my head. I'm like a. I'm like one of these sweetie, would you call them a lickerish all sort? Uh, you know? Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the show tonight. Bald and bonkers show. I'm still out. I like the new background. Skyfall, you know? That's like the James Bond for that. Yeah, and no, I figured, you know, we, I, I style up the background a little bit more, you know. As I, I see the logos and all that in the bottom corner where we're all streaming to. I mean, remember and tune in tomorrow night, guys, because we might have some photos from Dakota. Hopefully, they're decent ones. I mean, as they're no the kind of AMS ones or anything like that, you know, SMM ones or that. I was like, no, chains I, I, and, and, yeah, and stuff at least like that, and shackles. At and, least the photos I go to provide are better quality than the pixelated shit you always bring. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> what do you want me like? Do you want me an alien stunt saying this is my control panel? This is where I'm working on that. No? Yeah, that you know? was, that was, mm, yeah. Anyway, yeah. it was cool Catch sitting in the auditorium more. watching the latest uh, Transformer. Yeah. Oh, mm. oh yeah, I heard this last one was pretty in good. Disguise. You're yeah. too young. You remember the first Transformers, the old one, you know? Well, the voice for Optimus Prime is still doing it, so. You didn't even care who He Man is. Kenny doesn't even care who He Man is. Diabolical. I don't know. Who I've is. seen him. I, I've watched. I used to watch He Man. That night I brought him up. That night I brought him up with you and Elena. It was Elena. Was Elena didn't Elena. know who it was. You sure? Uh, yeah. With his big sword. He Man. His big. Yeah, you were saying Thorhan looked a lot like He Man. I understood the reference. Elena didn't. I, I've seen He Man. I've mm. seen the original cartoon. Hmm. My mom recorded a bunch of tapes for a birthday <clears throat> present one year. <clears throat> I don't know whatever happened to those. Oh well. Oh well. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic Saturday night and may the aliens come take you all away tonight. Yes. If the weather is permitting, be sure to <clears throat> stand outside and watch your backyards because something's coming. But nevertheless, <clears throat> live long and prosper. Yes. Thanks for tuning into the Bald and Bonkers show. If you enjoyed the show and want to show your support, head over to our website at baldandbonkers.net. There, you'll find our merch, services, and more. Thanks for being part of the Bald and Bonkers family, and we'll see you on the next episode. And remember, always keep an open mind and an open heart. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bald and Bonkers show. Join your hosts, Christopher Mole and Dakota Franson, as they take you on a wild ride through the world of the supernatural with a humorous twist that'll have you laughing and shaking in your boots at the same time. From ghosts to aliens to cryptids, no topic is off limits on this show. And the best part? You don't have to be a believer to join in on the fun. So grab a drink, kick back and tune in every weekend for new episodes. And if you want even more of the bald and bonkers experience, be sure to subscribe to our Patreon page for exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Let's get weird. Oh, and for the whiners out there, viewer discretion is advised. There you go, you entitled pricks. He took, ladies and gentlemen, he's, he's been beamed up. They've took him, and they're doing diabolical things to him. So, Dakota, where have you been when I've been sitting here waiting on you? Busy. Busy. Mm. Do tell. Share with the group. You know? I was actually worried about him, actually, ladies and gentlemen. It was like, oh, he's usually in, usually, usually in before me. And uh, I was actually kind of worried about him, you know? So, hmm. what's been happening, Dakota? What's been happening this week? What's, what's new? What hasn't been happening? Hmm... So, ladies in the chat, who have we got in there? We've got Stephanie, nearly called you Stephen again there. I know it's just a kind of 
joke that we've got. My God, man, you're off in black tonight. But I don't. I can have. I can't even see you. Mm. Um, Dobby Sock. I always thought it was Dobby Socks. Did you change your name, Dobby Sock? Did you know it used to be Dobby Socks? Hmm. Have you been mm-hmm. doing like any ex- weird experiments, Dakota? You've not been doing any like weird experiments or anything like that. That's mm. just weird. You look weird. Doesn't it look weird, guys? Dots MC, good to see you, my friend. Hey everyone, love from Ireland. Mm. That's actually mm-hmm. quite cool. That that what you've got on there. What is that? A colour feature because your eyes are like jet black. So, mm-hmm. how are you tonight? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. I was I was I was out the day. I was uh, I didn't obviously I didn't do any ghost stuff the day or anything like that. I've not been very well actually. I've had a kind of upset stomach, and I think it's. Because I was mm-hmm. in the sun too much yesterday, or weird stuff happening through the night. But I think that's what it's done. It's been massive thunderstorms here, Tay. So if I disappear all of a sudden, it's not the CIA or NSA, or it might be, I don't know. It might be my internet that drops because my cell signal's been dropping in, coming in and out with the thunderstorms. And there's my dog barking out the back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Christopher's to starting to realize that he's just his girl. I know. I know. I can't I'll play with you after. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, God. Well, she likes, she likes me when I throw her balls, you know. <laughs> What's that there? Um, well, Dobby no. Sock. My son named me Chris. I'm just one of Dobby's pair of socks. Chris, that's not Dakota. Wait, I, have you been doing anything you shouldn't have tonight, Dakota? I did tell you something would happen yesterday. Have you been doing any experimentation with the great ones from beyond? And this is why I know 99% of the shit that comes out of your mouth is utter shit. Do they go with these <laughs> I think Dakota's been, he's not had his morning coffee, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Oh. Do tell if us only it was a coffee drink. drinker. Yeah, do you know a coffee drinker? I thought you drank coffee. No, not really. Do you know, the, what are the things that your eye was drinking? You were drinking one the other night, was it a slurpy kind of thing? What was that? But what are you talking about? You were drinking out something the other night there when you were on the show. It, it looked like, like an ice sl- a slushy or something like that. Oh, yeah. It's just a soda. Mm. Mm. So, subject tonight. Have you heard any more about what's going on in, with this supposedly alien encounter in Las Vegas and alien encounters all over the world? What have you been hearing? It seems like there's already a lot of falsified information trying to go out in order to contaminate it. Yes, I've noticed that. I have Mm. noticed that. That's why I'm... I believe the whistleblower, 99%, right? There is a part of me that's like, uh, it's obviously a setup, right? right? That in Las Vegas, the UFO... It did look real flying through the sky in that, right? But come on, it is true day and age what cameras and cameras be. And they went out the back and they went and filmed it. And it's a terrible grainy picture. And you would mm. agree, well, it is a grainy picture. You see where his dad's got something in his hand and he's like threatening it, right? And you can see it's stone and doing that. I actually did that picture today and I put it through my, my, my photo editor thing. I can't make out that much. I can just make out this person's head or the, whatever it is, his head, which is mm. standing there. I don't know if there's a wee bit of jiggery pokery. There's a Scottish word for you. A bit of fakery going on here with that. Mm. I just feel, yeah. No. The incident in Las Vegas was a real one. Yeah. Maybe not genuine 
beings. No. But nevertheless. No. But the, what gets me is, right, how did it take off so quickly without any noise? I know that anti-gravity devices, this is, this, is what, this is what gets me. I've been sitting thinking about this, and I don't know if the people in the chat will think the same, right? The, the guy's story, the boy's story, I've watched it on TikTok and YouTube, I've watched the story, right, him telling what happened. He changes it every time he does like a wee interview with somebody, just slightly, which I find interesting. And he says, oh, there was a big bang out the back, and then the next interview there was, there was a bang at the back. Why was there a bang? What was the bang? If this is an anti-gravity device or an anti-gravity thing, surely to God it could have come down to the ground and just stopped. Or mm-hmm. is this just like, mm, I know it's no make-believe, but I think it's the US government playing us, playing us using their dro- drones or whatever they're called. You know what I'm told? The, the alien entities, they're not really alien entities, they're just more, you know what I'm talking about. They had to draw attention to themselves somehow. The bang was most likely a pop that they may have misconstrued as a drive-by shooting, just simply from the air pressure change from the air around the aircraft just getting hotter all of a sudden. I just... I just don't know why they couldn't have gave us a better picture of the entities. If it was a better picture of the entities, it would have been more believable. It would have been. It would have been more believable. I just don't see, and this is my honest opinion. Oh, see that, dog. Honest opinion uh, of that what happened in Las Vegas. I think it's, obviously, as you say, I think it's a total setup. Total setup, the US government with their beings or whatever they've got. What are they anyway? But they're like cybernetic kind of like clones or something like that. Synthetics. Essentially androids. So basically they don't have any... Are they controlled somewhere else then? There is a biological component to them, but they are completely made. The Federation does not risk real crews for those types of interactions. It's all this, all this that's happened, all this whistleblower and that, there's something Disney add up, and I just don't trust it. I don't. Mm. I can, I, that guy in the Pentagon, he go 100%. He was allowed to do that 100%, right? It's, it's as you say, it's maybe the Federation that is making it come out. But I just, I just don't trust that there's just something that there's a warning. There's a warning. I keep getting warning signs. I don't know why. It's weird. I do trust and neglect the Federation and stuff like that, and I hope it's true and stuff like that. But I, there is a bit of me that's, I don't know. I just don't trust it. They've got something else planned. I think they have got something else planned. And you're starting to sound like a bunch of the frauds out there. Well, I, I'm no, I'm, no, I'm. See, this is the thing, right? I don't know what happened, and I think we need to be very careful here. I know there's frauds out there. There's loads of them out there saying, "Oh, I don't know, galactic the, the aliens." There's got to be a Project Blue Beam. There's got to be a fake alien invasion. There's got to be bow. Look, I've seen it on YouTube last night. I watched that before I went to bed. I've seen it all over TikTok as diabolical. It's foo it. There's something just no right. And I do trust in the Federation and stuff like that. And I hope that it is them. But I just, I'm going to sit back until I can figure out what it is. And that's what I'm going to say about it. Sitting is exactly what caused this planet to do, be in the position I, exactly. it is today. But look at the look at I but it's no my fault. The, the Earth's like this. I mean the Earth's a total shithole you now with the wars that's raging across the continents. Look at look at America. Let's let's look at the mighty American people, right? That love their oil and love their gadgets. A throwaway society here. Now let's let's look at the Amer- America, right? It's at one time it was 
one time it was the superpower. I wouldn't say it is the superpower anymore. There's rising superpowers throughout the world, We've got China and stuff like that. Things are going down how. You just need to look at San Francisco. You just need to look at the, the homeless in San Francisco and major cities in the United States to see that society is breaking down, right? Los Angeles, right? Look at that district that's uh, cost millions of dollars for the house and now there's fires burning in the middle of the streets and stuff. Mm. America caused a lot of wars. And I'm going to admit this. So did the UK. We are your lap dogs. We are your lap dogs. We jump and we do what America says, right? So I'm not blaming just America here, right? You've got Australia, you've got Britain, you've got France, you've got Germany, you've got all the wee lap dogs in the United States. The all does look at Nord Stream 2, for instance. Look at Nord Stream 2. Mm. Now, there's an interesting one. They blamed it on the Russians, right? There was no way the Russians could have got near that. No way switch ever. It was the British that did that. Did it. It used a lot. Right? And America has caused nothing but suffering. And so has Britain. I feel like I'm in the bad side. And that's my true honest opinion. I feel like I am in the bad side right now. And well, you just need to look at the pollution of the world. I am not saying that Russia's good or anything like that. Look, look at look at Russia. They've done bad things to look at China. China is the most polluting country in the world, right? They're burning oil and coal large quantities yet, right? But so is this. This is the thing, right? Everybody thinks that climate change, you know that. That's just a that's a total different subject, right? Climate change, right? And if you get into that, leave that after the now. We had the technology. People disappeared. That was the US government, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, that made those people, poof, disappear. What's your thoughts on this, Dakota? What's your thoughts on how the world could have been run differently? It's no secret that any truly innovative measures were quickly suppressed before being able to release the general republic, like I've said before on several times. There's several committees that actually put a stronghold on the infrastructure to make sure products are not made to last. They are made to deteriorate. Exactly. So their pockets get lined with more money. Yeah, let's look at the car industry. Cars could be made better. They could be made more safely. They could be made they could be made they could be made to last longer. Right? I learned an interesting fact the other day that I know someone that works for Ford. Right? It works in a British plant. And I was talking to him, and he was, and he was telling me, he says, see, see, like, Ford vehicles. And he says, they're designed to break after three years. They're designed mm -hmm. to break down. The car manufacturers make more money, and this is, this is ridiculous, by the way. They make more money selling spare parts than selling cars. Mm -hmm. Right? You know, at one time, the, I kind of remember the maker, I thought, oh, what was that? I kind of metal company, me, but it was an American car maker. It's went out of business a long time ago, but in the nineteen sixties, it brought a car out, and this thing could drive a hundred thousand miles without needing anything. Didn't need wheel burns, didn't need springs, didn't need anything. It just lasted, right? That company went out of business because the government put it out of business mm -hmm. because they couldn't sell any parts. And that's, hey, it's like Big Pharma. You're right, Doby Sock, in the chat. It's like Big Pharma, the US companies, Big Pharma, the US companies, where they make pills, right, to to help people with like rare types of cancer, children in particular here, right? It costs them, what, to make 10 of these pills, it costs them like 10 cents, right? And then they charge something ridiculous, like $100 a pill. Mm -hmm. American company again. Probably British company because you've obviously got the the you talk, you, then we talk about the vaccines and stuff. If you want to go down that kind of road, if we talk about what's been happening in the world now, need I say more? Mm -hmm. That when it goes to the hospitals and when it comes to the mean? hospitals itself, the our insurance structure is the reason why. 
There was a time in history where going to the hospital would cost as much as a couple weeks worth of groceries at most. Yes. You pay for the treatment plus a little bit of profit on top so the hospital can keep things running. And that's it. You're going to get the people out there that say, I do. But Chris, you're in the UK. You get free health care. Hey, we do get free health care. But we're taxed to fuck. We're taxed in everything. We're ta- the UK, why, look at America. Why did you want rid of England? Right? Because of the taxes. That's what caused mm-hmm. the revolution and all that, right? It's ridiculous. In the UK, you pay tax and everything. A packet of cigarettes in America. What's a packet of cigarettes in America? 20 cigarettes. Easy $15 around from where I'm at. Well, I can remember when a packet of cigarettes cost £2. Now you're talking, what, what would you say, guys, in the chat for the UK? Drew, you smoke in the chat. What would you say about £16, £17 pounds for a packet of cigarettes? I mean, if you go to Spain, if you go to Spain, right, you can buy a packet of 20 cigarettes, right? You know, it's my internet starting to go wonky. You can buy a packet of 20 cigarettes, right, for two euros. Two. The same kind in the United Kingdom is about 18 or 19 pounds. Mm-hmm. 13 pounds, thank you very much. What kind is that? Is, I take it that's the, the one named after the, the street in London. We'll see them, the blue packet, I'm no naming them. And they're, they're the cheapest of the cheap, probably. And you can buy them in Spain for like two quid. I can't it's why. But over here they're thirteen pounds. Well, that's tax. That's tax. And that's what obviously your healthcare pays for your tax. And stuff mm-hmm. like that. But and it's starting to happen in the United States too. This is the sad thing. Because America used to be all about big Ford befores and big tires and I used to love watching the American programs about their vehicles and stuff, but slowly and gradually, you're going to start paying the same amount of get for gas as we do. Can you imagine mm-hmm. paying, right? I fucked my car up yesterday, so let me think. I put two gallons in it and it came to £23, right? Two gallons. Three gallons was about 20 quid, right? Two and a half mm-hmm. gallons was £20, right? So that in dollars, was that? About nearly $30 for. Two gallons of gasoline? Roughly, yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine paying that? We are big gas guzzling vehicles that get 12 miles to the gallon. <clears throat> At least with the big gas guzzling vehicles, Mr. Who likes to make but, fun that I drive a 90 Cadillac. Hey, At least my car. At least mm-hmm. my car, if I'm in a situation where I get into a crash, the other person has more damage. Oh, is that? <laughs> you're, you're, like, you're like driving a tank. You're like driving a tank down the road. But but here's the, the the problem coming. We talk about pollution. We talk about what the humans are doing in this world, right? How many miles to the gallon does your vehicle get, Dakota? 25. 25 miles to the gallon. Is it a catalytic converter or not? I don't know. No, it'll no be. When was it made? Was it made before 19 what? It's a 95. So ninety five, so it's so it's a ninety five. It doesn't have a catalytic converter then, because it's after nineteen ninety seven, ninety six, ninety seven. Right. So right. your car doesn't have a catalytic converter. So let's look at. I know Dakota's in the dark. I don't know. I think he's been possessed by one of the aliens. But anyway, never mind that. Look, people are going to have to change their ways. Look at my car, right? I'll admit, I drive an old person's car. I drive a long lever, right? I get forty four miles to the gallon, right? Which is actually really good because I drive slow and I'm old. Stupid, there we go. But what humans have to change their way, and it's the same with these electric cars, they're a total waste of money and time. There's more pollution comes from an electric car than Dakota's old petrol car. Mm-hmm. This is what people don't realize in this world, guys. The, the 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 woke society think that the magic fairies bring along the electricity, right? The magic fairies bring that. And the batteries in those cars are made by magic fairies. They just materialize. No, they don't. They fucking don't. You have no idea how much it costs 
to mine lithium. These big machines, these big dumper trucks, right? And I'm talking huge, right? My brother used to drive them. These things get about four miles to the gallon, right? Diesel, right? Right, so so say that's going back and forth, mine, 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 mine away, right? But then you've got other mines, mining cobalt, mining gold, mining silver, mining copper, mining steel. It's a fucking joke, man. It really is. Mm. Humanity needs to change its ways. I'll agree there. Yeah, it totally has to change its ways. But we kind of deal with the technology, which, again, the US government have got stashed away in a bunker somewhere, somewhere in Nevada. Nikola <clears throat> Tesla was already trying to upheave everything that would have... That is the foundation for how society is nowadays. You're making the comparison that soon America is going to be following a lot of the UK's examples. When you really think about it, historically speaking, the United States is that stubborn teenager that started to that rebelled and started to realize maybe their parents were onto something. When it comes to the smokers, they go to pro- prove that people are desperate enough to shell yeah, out exactly. thousands thousands of dollars of cash exactly. even though they know damn well their habit is killing them but what I'm saying to you about America America is no the great nation it used to be anymore America will soon will not be a superpower much longer it will still be a superpower but it will not be the way everything's gone the new with that idiot that you've got in the power and believe me I've got an idiot too I've, we've, got, we've got two idiots in power but the the way everything's going to know, the financial system's got to crash, and it's going to crash, guys. It's going to tumble, and it's going to burn. They're printing money, and they're printing money. Where are they getting... This, this is what doesn't get me. Where are they getting all this money for? Where are they getting it for? Because, the, because they're in debt to their eyeballs. The United States is in debt to their eyeballs to China, which people don't realise. I mean, there's bits say. China actually own parts of the United States because they've been selling it back in land. Did you did you know that? That's where Chinatown comes from. You also got to consider five G towers are property oh. of Hawaii. Right. Yep. They're Chinese oh. made. Well, then again, <clears throat> but then you can say Dakota. Well, ninety percent of the world is Chinese made. Yeah, and look what happened when we had to shut down everything coming out of China. Yeah. Exactly. We're still not recovered from that shit. I'd... We need a clean slate. That's what we need. We need a clean slate. Everything needs to collapse before it's re- before it's thing. There's too many. There's too many people super rich. There's too many of them, and there's people out there get trillions and trillions of dollars. Hmm. I mean, is that fair? I have maybe made that through unthingly ways, right? But is it fair to the society, the world, the society can it grow if everybody, if there's if there's the little people in the bottom and then there's these people at the top that think they can run everything? And I think they're trying to hold on to power. They're trying to hold on to power right now. They're trying to hold on to other trillions. What's the worst thing a billionaire hates the most is waking up one morning and realising he's a millionaire. And it's the same with a millionaire waking up one morning and realises he's not a millionaire anymore. Mm-hmm. I think we need a clean slate. Every, I think the financial system or the world, everywhere in the world just needs to collapse. It's going Completely. to. Completely. Oh, yeah. It needs, and it needs to be a new kind of system that brings a fair system it's bro- I know that CBDC thing, which is absolute stupid waste. Mm-hmm. The new freedoms and 15 minutes that is shite, right? There needs to be something done. There's too many people out there with too much money. Can you imagine if you to take all the like Bill Gates? What's Bill Gates worth? The yeah. car? Just a rough guess. Doesn't need to be right. A few billion? I don't know. A few billion, right? A few billion, right? I mean, one billion dollars. Can you imagine what one billion dollars would do for, say, building schools in the United States? Mm-hmm. Or, say, free hospital care for the homeless in the United States? 
That's just one billion dollars. And then there's people out there with like maybe five or six trillion dollars. I mean, the extraterrestrials that are looking at this planet, you know, if, I, if I was one of them and I was sitting on my ship, I honestly would be like, fuck's sake, man, this, this planet's fucked. Unless it changes its ways. Unless it does change its ways. It needs to change its ways. But it'll no happen until the superpowers that control everything fall. The world's richest family out of Saudi Arabia, their wealth is well in even above the trillions yeah. I'm gonna get gold all together yeah. they could I mean, mind you there's places in saudi arabia that have so much fucking money they literally have gold bar vending machines that's right mm-hmm. and and, and their police cap. yeah and their police <laughs> forces are rigged out in the fastest lamborghinis plated with 24 karat gold yep i would love to check it out personally one day just just to see but nevertheless they could literally just say fuck everybody and disappear and not run out of money in their lifetimes. Interesting thing. It's, it's actually interesting you brought up the Saudis. See, the Saudis actually brought in slave labor for China and other countries to build their buildings, right? And do mm-hmm. you know that there was thousands and thousands of workers died building those buildings? And it was all covered mm-hmm. up because money covers everything up. I know somebody that works in Saudi Arabia. When one of the new buildings that's getting built, he makes fifteen hundred pounds a day, and that's the lowest mm-hmm. paid job that he's in. He's got people. He knows people that make about three or four thousand dollars a day. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine making four or five thousand dollars a day? I mean, it's called hazard pay. Yeah, but imagine paying that. Imagine getting made paid that. I mean, it's, it's as Keen there Jackson says, the Queen had two hundred. I. See the, the what is it? What is it? The Queen's uh, crown was worth something ridiculous, like sixty billion dollars or something like that. Mm-hmm. The Indians actually wanted that diamond back, but they'll not give them it back. I bet they'll not give them it back. That's rightfully Indians. Did you know that? Same the for diamond. the obelisks. No, Same for the yeah. obelisks. The, ah. the Egyptians want those back, but the, yeah, the UK is not going to fork that we'll over. Give Oh no! What, 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 what's what's India got to do? Invade the UK? They'll know that they'll know the last ten things. Yeah, I mean the technology that they've got. America's standing behind them, and this is this is why with the UFO thing, they know there is. I think people right. I believe it's happening. I believe disclosure has finally happened, right? But I believe there's other people going to jump onto this bandwagon. Right, and I believe they're going to try and play it for themselves. I'm not saying it's the good ones, I'm saying the bad ones are going to do the same. You think about it, they're going to fight this, they're going to fight the Federation, they're going to fight you to the bitter end because they're going to lose everything. Mm-hmm. And they will try everything in their power, including starting a nuclear war, including look at that power station in Ukraine. Did you hear about it in the news tonight, ladies and gentlemen? See that bridge that collapsed? What was there? It was a reservoir that's collapsed. It's lost its cooling. It's, it could go into meltdown in the next 24 hours. Isn't that mm-hmm. strange? And here's an even better one. See the dam that blew up? They said it was the Russians. It wasn't the Russians. It was the Ukrainians that blew up their own dam. Why do you think the UK is actually trying to suppress one of the biggest global distributors of Russian news? Hi. Exactly. Installing criminal fines for even visiting the website. I know. It's mad. It really is, guys. And this is people have to wake up and realize that your government isn't your government enemy. The government that, that polices everything now is corrupt. It's gone. But that's it's the all thing. Gone. It's gone. The exact people that think the government should be taking care of them, that their all their needs should be met, and the government should do this, government should do that. Mm-hmm. That's Those people are implemented by design. Do you want to hear something that happens in the UK? And I don't know if Dobie knows about this. In the United Kingdom, the, the Houses of Parliament voted to allow the World Health Organization powers... So if there's another pandemic, right, 
they can come in and make everybody go into lockdown, right? Right? Mm-hmm. But there's there was a House of Lords, right? There was all these Lords and MPs that were against it. And they say, oh, we're not voting for that. Because it's obviously, it's a government. You've got the mm-hmm. freedom of speech. Well, supposedly freedom of speech, right? And they say, no, 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 no. We're a sovereign country. This is no ha- happening. This is no happening. Do you know that our glorious government, our glorious new government, do you know what they've went and done? They've enacted a special power that was uh, created by Henry, was it Henry V? Dobby? Uh, King Henry V, something about maybe 16 or 1700 years ago or something stupid like that. And to basically bypass the people in the houses of the Commons, right? So as the Prime Minister can just sign this thing and bring it in. And all these house, all these lords and all these MPs are like, but you can't do that. And they're like, tough. There's a, there's a, I then said, yes, it's a treaty, Chris, supposedly to be in, in, around about 2024. No, they actually used a law for like the 14th century so as they could bypass the houses. Mm-hmm. Of this is how corrupt your government is. This is the madness. The madness. Mm-hmm. And you know there'll be people like that. Oh, Chris, I can't believe that you went against the government. Oh, oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. That's what people were watching this right now. I know people run about me and they'll be like, ah, they won't be burnt at the stake for what I've just said. Exactly. Yeah, because they're, oh, the government would never do that. The government don't lie. The government don't hide UFOs. UFOs don't exist. Need a similar. I mean, let's look at the US government, a really quick one. What did the US government do after World War II, Dakota, to its US soldiers? And they didn't tell them, come on, were they tested the nuclear bombs? What did they do to the soldiers? Made them stand within the blast radius. Yeah. Well, don't worry. You've got a tin helmet, you'll be fine. They're all dead now with cancer. I think there's one left, I don't know. You also have to realize the intensity of a nuclear blast makes it to where the human eye can visibly see the skeleton. Yes, I've heard that. I have heard that. That's really interesting, that. Look, the world's... We need the total... I'll tell you what we need. We need need the full system tore down. Every world leader needs to be replaced. Every one of them. Because they're all corrupt. Every one of them. I mean, there's people out there say, aye, we could have one world government. <laughs> aye, we could have one world government if the people vote the people in. No, no, if they just pick a random few trillionaires that have been living in a bunker through all this. Get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just to say that organizations such as the World Economic Forum and the World Health Organization aren't the first steps to aren't the very foundation for the one world government that everybody just allowed to happen. Yeah. Look, these people that are controlling everything as we speak and making the world as as we speak started World War I and they also started World War II. They say they were behind Hitler. Hitler had a backer, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, this was happening. Rothschilds. Hi. The fucking Rothschilds. Rothschilds owners of the Federal that, Reserve. Did you know yeah. that the CIA actually had a plan to slowly implement gender altering chemicals into Hitler's food to slowly make him a, into a woman over the course of the war? Oh my god, that did not know that. I just Mrs. learned this Hitler. today. I just learned this today. Yes. And yet, so many are trying to imp- push the these drugs on children that would be able to see past the BS because they haven't been indoctrinated by their parents. But when you really think about it, unfortunately, and again, this actually traces back to the Nazis, the Rothschilds, yeah. ladies, your uh, freedoms to be able to try to seek equality amongst men were was a movement 
taken advantage of by the Rothschild. So you would get off your ass, get a job so you can be taxed. Hmm. The Until degradation, the total degra- degrading of the family union unit. So everyone is everyone. Yeah. There may be a family in a household, but dad's eating at dinner one time. Mom's eating dinner at another time. Kids are eating dinner at separate time and, and already in bed. There's no actual interaction. There's no unit to where people would actually come together in times of crisis. This has all been brewing since at least the 1940s. Yeah, actually, it's been brewing longer than that. But since the 1940s, roughly around the time of the Second World War, that's when it started going hitting in mass, right as Nazis who are starting to be integrated into world governments as part of similar projects to Project Paperclip. Yeah. As the old saying goes, the Nazis never really lost the war. Yeah. Because a lot of these, uh, where was it? Where, where's that place? Is it the, where's that? Is the economics forum this thing that the day? What is it? With the Klaus Schwab and all that. Where was that held? Was it Geneva? Sw- Switzerland, yeah. Switzerland. Did you see? Did you see that? It was. It didn't last long before our, our amazing uh, police force and YouTube took it down. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but there was actually a woman doing a speech, and below that there was a, there was the swastika. And I, should, but I know that means a lot of different things. I know it means that the swastika in different ways means peace symbol. It's the Buddhist symbol and stuff like that, mm. right? Fortune. Yeah, but there's look at Klaus Schwab, man. <laughs> He's been corrupted, man. He, honestly, it's it's it really takes. I really get annoyed with us. I really do to think that all those people that our grandfathers and grandmothers and stuff that fought. These tyranny, right? Is that man? Don't that went funny there? Strange that, isn't it? But anyway, um, that for this, I've died for basically what's going on right now. And I'll tell you something you now. I'm absolutely sickened the way the world's turned out. The age, the younger generation, is fucking terrible. Mm. And you, you came up and talking about, look, I've got nothing against, I've got nothing against men with men, women with women, right? But when it starts taking it, when it starts taking it, doing the course it's in right now, if what they're doing in schools and what they're doing in public yeah. bathrooms and stuff like that, I just, I just don't know. How many people are actually stepping away from those movements because they are... I- already realized that it is no longer about achieving equal treatment. It's about, it's a power play to try to okay. make your so-called oppressors feel the same way. Think, in fact, you know, there's probably going to be a lot of people trying to call me a misogynist, but mm. th- let's, let's go to something a little bit more recent, the Me Too movement. Now, okay. by all uh. means... For God's sakes, it's about damn time these ladies started standing up for themselves instead of yeah. just keeping everything hush hush about what's been going on. I fully support it, but how many do you? But do you realize how much of a spike in falsified reports have emerged? No, I... because of women taking certain individuals taking advantage of these reports. Oh, I know. Completely okay. lying through their teeth yeah. and the whole social stigma about it. People not even hearing the fact that these people were found completely innocent yeah. and patronizing them to the point they take their own lives. Yeah, I know. <laughs> actually, I watched a thing tonight. Strange, you were talking about this. Actually, I was talking, I was watching a thing tonight, and it was these women were protesting against transvestites. Right, they were protesting because this is what they were protesting against. So, so one of them was an Olympic, one of them was an Olympic swimmer, right? Uh, and she yeah. went, and she went and she went to swim at a local. It was a big vet event today in a her state or something like that, right? And she went to swim it and she was beaten by a man, but it was an all women swimmers competition. It was an all women swimmers competition. 
You should see this guy. He's tall. He's the same uh, height as you. He's tall as any. I, 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 I know what I know the situation you're talking about, but the, here's the thing. She it was that the situation was actually a tie, but because the other the end of other mm-hmm. individual was trans, that's what they went for. I mean, for fuck's sake, man! Did you hear about a 14 year old kid? It was like 12 year old kid, barely would not even in high school yet. He's at a Pokemon tournament that's being streamed, officially sponsored by Nintendo. Yeah. I think I failed at this. Because, yeah, he not, he's nervous about being on camera, realizing the millions of people watching. They ask him about his pronouns. He starts laughing. And you can tell it's kind of a nervous laughter. Yeah. Not even 15 minutes goes by into this card game. They completely shut it down and he's banned. Yeah. He's a fucking mm-hmm. kid. I know. I know. Did you? There was one. There was a protest the other day there, and I think it was in Canada. To be exact, sure, I think it was Canada, and it was all these women, and they were women, the birth, they were women, and they were protesting against bathroom use by transgenders, right? And the transgenders brutally attacked. I don't know if you've seen that. Brutally beat them up. The men beat the women up, real women up, right? And who did the police arrest? The woman. The woman. Even though in camera, the men did same thing. Fight. Same thing with that swimmer. It's not the, the one who's been raped. Well, yeah. Here's also here's also another thing. Do you realize that anybody who wants to undergo hormonal treatments has to take a psychiatric evaluation? Yeah. Because of the effects that those drags have? Oh, yeah. They have to make sure they can handle the mental load. There's individuals around me, I'm shocked that they even went that far, who went for the full transition off themselves, threatened their families. Yep. I will will say, what's happened in the U.S.? I heard that some states have actually made it illegal for, like, children under a certain age to be made because their mother and fathers were making them become a woman. There was that. What's There's actually some, happening there? Some states and, are trying to step in because they realize the parents are trying to... Here's the, here's the thing. A number of childhood psychologists have realized a majority of these children trying to say they want to be a girl. There is essentially a level of grooming that's taking place. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing to honestly ask. It's a legitimate yeah. question. Any young boy who's saying they want to be a girl, mm-hmm. you need to examine their home life real quick. Because yeah. what are the chances that these young boys are in households where they f- feel that, say, like their sisters are being favored over them? Yeah. Look, there's nothing wrong. What I'm going to say here, if they, if a boy wants to be a girl, right, fair does. If a lassie wants to be a man, fair does. If a man wants to get with a man, fair does. If a woman wants to get with a man, fair does. It's it, it's this movement we're going on about, guys, and that's what I'm about to clarify to you. It's the movement that's going on about the news that's attacking women for being mm-hmm. women. Right, that mm-hmm. guy that's that guy that does the the that guy that does the Bud Light ad- advert, right? What's his name? What is his name? Well, it's not, he's actually a woman. I better watch what I'm saying. Dylan yeah. something. I don't know. Right. Did you did you hear his latest? Right, he's he says she says that she's a woman, right? So I'm, I'm going to be that the that's proper, and right? that her girlfriend <laughs> is the one to get her pregnant. Yes. Yes. Um, I'm sorry. Did you, hear, did you hear else? Did you hear else what he said? He says. He That's says. Right. Wait for this. He says. He says. He likes women. He says he's a lesbian. Right. He, he's a lesbian. Uh, nah. He prefers women. I, 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 am I missing fucking something here? By the way, because he's a man. He likes going out with a woman. 
Honestly, I didn't even know who the hell this Dylan Mulvaney was until oh, this whole Bud Light shit started. To be, completely funny, on, I, to be completely honest, I had no clue. You go to a match that's funny, but it puts heart into a Bud Light. And it's getting kind of annoying how much con- certain conservative channels are completely obsessed with him. It's like, okay, you're only giving him more numbers. That's all you're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's just but his whole people, thing. Are... You'd realize how his whole thing about transitioning into a woman got started, right? No, actually, I don't actually know that much about him because I kind of start him. I think he's a prick, but that's just my opinion. Well, yeah, he was dressing up as a woman for TikTok videos to make fun of emotional mood swings. You know, yeah. exactly. Did you see, did you see that? Did you see the thing that was taken off the air? It was he was he was sitting amongst all these people. And it was in some, it was like, a, it was a morning show in America. And there was a guy sitting. Did you see it? And and she's going, oh, I can't wait to have a child. I'm ready. It was going on about, she was going on about having a child. Naturally. Um, I can't wait to have a child naturally. <laughs> and the guy went, as you fucking take the piss, you're a man. All right. I'm just going to, you say, I'm just, I'm just going to say this. Where's it coming out? What? Where's the kid going to come out? What do you mean? Where's the kid going to come out? That's a good point. Through his left nostril. I was like, for fuck's sake, Chris, it, that's just not a hard question to ask. I was you like, it's basic up. high school. I, 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 you know, I'm breaking up. I, 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 He's breaking up, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot hear him. Oh. See, well, it's a convert. shut up. <laughs> I, you're, you're breaking up. I look. I who's sat in the chat there? Who's that? Nick KP seventy four. Is this? An, I don't know. That's a new one. Hello. The kids, Andrew, is called about monsters. hormone monsters. Yeah, big mouth. Yeah, I've heard of it. Never seen it myself. Look. It, it, it's getting ridiculous now, right? It is getting bad now because I can somebody that's in the United States. I'm not going to say their name. I'm not saying their name. And their kid came home for school before. I think. For, I think it's. Would you call it? It's. It's kids are out now in school. Yeah, I'm all sorry. Yeah. It. it was. It was about a month ago, and he was telling us that his kid came home for school. I think it's. it's would you? Would you call that in America? It's like Summer primary break. school here. No. Uh, element, elementary. Uh, the very first school you go to. Elementary, dear Watson. Right, right. Elementary, dear Watson. Very good. Sherlock. You got right there. It's like, anyway. I gotta, he's saying he's, I'm breaking up for him, so I had to say yeah, something you're for him to get it again, you, Every now and again, you break up off of me for some weird reason, right? I was about to say, ladies and, and gents, are we coming through for you? <laughs> is first, she's first. The wee boy was, or the wee lassie, I'm sorry, was first. This is her first year, right? And she came home and she says, Dad, they were sitting talking to her father and her mother. She says, Daddy, there was a man came to the school today. And he went, Okay, what what was that? Oh, he was he was dressed as a woman and he was showing us how to have yeah. with another man. He was showing us pictures how to do it with a man and a man. Not with a woman and woman. It was just how to do it with a man and a man. Yeah. His, his father lost the plot, phoned the school board or whatever, and talking about changing schools and stuff like that. Well, yeah, that's yeah, that's indecent exposure. That's oh no no, that's, no, no. That, that, it was that's a... Seemingly it was allowed. It's allowed. It's allowed. It was allowed in the school. No, it's like no that 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 that, that that's fucking child pornography. That's, that's, right, exactly. It's fucking disgusting. That's, uh, the, the, that's child pornography. That's that that's essentially grooming these kids. Right. To... Look what happened. But look what happened yeah. with that. The, what was it? The American uh, was that governor? He seen the video where this happened, and he demanded that the teacher was fired. Yeah, Texas. 
Hi, Texas. It wasn't just, it wasn't a teacher. He looked at all there was this in, in fucking Texas of all places. You wouldn't expect. I know. I know. But yeah, all these teachers were trying to say, exactly oh, the they were talking about they were talking about you know, oh, Matt. They're calling them maps and not pedos, and kids were getting in the trouble for saying the word pedophile and all of this. And finally, the dude said, "I talked with our judges. You are to either." Immediately hand in your resignation, or you will be arrested. Aye, exactly. It's absolutely fucking sickening that our world is turning into this. Mm. And it's true what Sonny the Naked Bigfoot says. It is. It's child abuse. It is child abuse. And it mm. it needs to stop. But see, see, because I've said this, I'm now a hater against that community. Even though... I agree with gay people and I agree with lesbians and stuff like that, right? I agree with them, right? I'm not a hater against that. They say that I disagrees with them. They say that Donald Trump's one of the biggest racists in the world. He's no, I watched a, I watched a thing with Donald Trump tonight, right? And African Americans coming up to him, and one of his sons was joining the US military and he was so happy to meet Donald Trump and he was getting his signature, he was getting a baseball uh, ball signed by Donald Trump. And he says, I'm going to be joining the US Army. And Trump's like, he says, oh, well, when I'm back as president, we'll need to meet you up again and stuff like that. You go and get him and stuff like that. Look, I think when he comes back in power, and people know that I'm a Trump supporter, when he comes back in power, I think things will change. I think the war in Europe will end. And I think all oh, this shit that's happening in the U- US to do and ruin the world with this fucking man. Uh, it's, pretty unan- it's pretty much unanimous. It's pretty much unanimous that... Oh, he's got to get on all him. sides that Trump if Trump was still in power Putin would not f- have followed through with this invasion of Ukraine because he was too much of a motherfucking wild card yeah the two of them are pals that's what a lot of people don't realize if you watch this is an interesting fact about Donald Trump uh, it's really interesting if you watch President if you watch President Obama right or President Joe Biden meeting Putin they go up to each other, look at each other, and maybe a wee quick shake of the horn, and then they walk away. When when President Trump met Mr. Putin, they were it was like giving him a cuddle and shaking his horn and all that, and thought he was a great guy. The two of them were laughing and joking. I pray to God, I wish to God somebody would put him in power back in power right now, because it would save the world. It probably would save the world. I, I, I mean, I mean, for fuck's sake. Trump was the one that got North and, North and South Korean officials to start yeah. talking again. I knew it's all going to port again. He started firing his rockets again because of that Egypt you've got in bloody, what do you call it? The, yeah. The He's probably wondering about the Oval Office to do, looking for his underwear and pants. God, yeah, no. Yeah. Just, and, and and everybody, but everybody's trying to say disaster averted by him signing a bill to raise the debt ceiling. Um, That debt's still there. He's just delaying the inevitable. Uh, Chris, hello. What? You froze there for a sec. I heard a weird noise. I heard like a click, like a click. No, you. I heard, no, you. You. You, you full on like froze. Like uh, I lost you there. That's strange. Huh. Mm-hmm. Well, we're talking about Donald Trump. I think Donald Trump's an awesome guy. I like to wear his hat now and again just to piss folk off. It's a hobby. Yep, we've been officially flagged. No. It's, it's, look, we'll never get monetized. So if anybody wants to donate to Bolden Bunkers, please click on one of the links. Because we're no monetized guys because we actually talk the truth. You don't need to send much, like one dollar or two dollars or something to can to to run the company, you know. But it's we're we we talk the truth on this channel and that's that's why we're well, what's the word? Ghosted by everybody and stuff like that, you know? You've mm-hmm. got, you got to love it. See how folks react to Donald Trump hats, man. It's fucking brilliant. I am a proud owner of a couple of Donald Trump hats. I mean, look at the kids. There's a story still coming out about people that are just wearing a random red hat. I know. Just a red hat. Nothing to do with MAGA who are getting attacked in the street. I was I walked into a shop, I'll not say the name of the shop because it's in my place. And I had it on and she's oh why have you got his hat on? I'm like, whose hat? 
Donald Trump is a rapist. And I says, how is he a rapist? He says, oh, oh, that that model, he raped her. And I says, that's a load of absolute shit. He did not rape her. And this is the mainstream media. They're believing all this shit in the mainstream media. No, no, it was like, by all accounts, Stormy Daniels, that was, even she's saying, that's not what I said. I know. And um, I just didn't talk to them for a good couple of weeks. Yeah. Going, on at me, going on at me saying, how can you support him? He's a creep. He's got to take us into nuclear war. Have you seen and the says, issues I, coming out about Hunter Biden? I, I, I actually brought that I actually brought that subject up in the store. I says, well, what about Hunter Biden? Well, oh, he didn't mean it. And I says, what do you mean he didn't mean it? He says he's a laptop for a child porn and stuff like that. Not just yeah, child porn. Him doing drugs, him with prostitutes. Oh, yeah. And, and and they're like, and they're like that to me. Oh well, we can, it can be forgiven. And this is yeah, the if it was just sheep. adults. This is the no, honestly, this is the brainwash sheep of people today. Ninety nine percent of people in this world are fucking idiots, right? There's people out there that are absolutely amazing. The people that follow the bold and bonkers are absolutely amazing. The there's people in the everybody in the chat are absolutely amazing. But why is it in society today? There is so many idiots. Why? Because Why? The idiots breed quicker. No, that's true. Uh, I mean, it, I just how long before it gets voted back in? Is it next year? Got to watch that. Yeah, next soon. next year's next year's when the elections start running again. I know we've lost a few. I you know we've got people that watches but don't ever comment. Wonder who they are. Yeah, we got everybody gets their lurkers, man. Lurkers, I everybody's got. Oh, we just lost another. You know? <laughs> everybody gets their lurkers. I, I don't. Right. I wouldn't count that as anything. I it's. I would just like to say, by the way, welcome, son of the naked Bigfoot. Welcome, Pete, into the room and stuff like that. It's good to see you. Um, yeah. I need to get you on the show one night, man. We can come in and talk about Donald Trump if you want. I know you, you like well, there. Yeah. Uh, that'll definitely, yeah. Uh, well, it's a good thing now that that? Bald and Bonkers is backed up on Bumble as well as mm. now on Odyssey as well. As well as all of our other platforms. So if any of our episodes suddenly disappear, we have plenty of backups. We have backups uh, yeah, of the backups. If, if the Bald and Bonkers channel disappears, we've got backups and backups and backups. You know what I mean? Look, um, see, this is what I said to somebody the other day. This is, I don't want to go doing history. Somebody that's that's stuck with the program. Get my draft. I'm no like a supporter of what's going on. I want when people look this back in many years to come, think, holy shit, who are the two of these two guys? One's in black and white, and the other one's absolutely raving mad. But honestly, I want. No, I got Sin City vibes going here. You did. That's a good movie by that, Basin. But anyway, um. Oh, look, I don't want to be seen as one of these folks that's, that's storing for the regime that we've got in, and I call them the regime. Yeah, you know I mean, I was talking about, yeah, I mean, it's, I could go really deep into this and on all the craziness that's happening with free speech and stuff like that, but that's actually a, a story for another time, as Mike would say. And uh, would you call it, we should, do a, we should do a show on freedom of speech. Oh dear Lord! You know, look, the pack to me to be your humble host. Don't you want to when you meet finally meet your maker and he, and he says, "Did you like that guy that we sent to you?" You can punch him square in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Get honestly, get, I mean, I mean the only reason we stuck around is because for some reason we just work. But they, and a lot of people, a lot of people in this world, will think, "Oh, at the start of the show and all that, they go and they shout to each other and call each other names and that." Because people have actually messaged me again that, "Oh, why do you let Dakota picking you so much?" Look, it's no picking on. It's the way we are. It's the way we work together, right? I call him a dick all the time because he's a dick. <laughs> he does. He, he does. Me a dick. That's the way it is. 
do you know, and this is only my see the other channel that I did the ghost hunting one. I'm only name it now, but anyway, do you know what somebody messaged me last week and said to me? You know how What's I was doing the, gra- the graveyard? You know how I went to the graveyard with Drew's Abandoned Paranormal? Somebody actually sent me a message. She says, listen, I, I don't want to say this, but see the next time you go somewhere, could you please stop the birds from tweeping? What? Did you not see it? I removed it for the chat. I, did, I, I What? No, nah, they says to me, please, what? please. Can you remove? Can you try and stop the buds from tweeping? They're tweeping too oh, much. God. Oh god! Oh, I'm having an aneurysm. Oh, okay. It's one thing if you actually knew how to do, like, you know, sophisticated editing, and you added birds, you know, just for like atmospheric effect. Well, you, know, you, you know what I mean? Fucking... Well, exactly. Fucking I, was like, I, I was out. I was out. You know, walking my cat earlier and. I was trying to film the, sky, film the sky because I thought I saw something poking in between the clouds. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, the, the birds were all relaxing. You know, I was like, oh, this, this, this is actually kind of nice right now. Mm-hmm. Just sitting here, mm-hmm. beautiful day. Oh, I get them all the UFOs. time. I get, I get stupid messages all the time on my channel. I get one <laughs> other night there. Says, Your camera works okay, but the BBC does a lot better. And I put, well, the BBC's got a budget of like, what is it, 500 million every year or something like that, and I've got a budget of like 20 pence a year or something like that, can't I mean that's, can't I mean, what do they expect me to can't I mean oh there's a bit of a shake there, there's a bit of a shake there, I've seen better on the TV well, okay I, I could how about this the, you, how about oh. this it's like, uh, donate to buy their bottom really bunkers tried. or Ghost Squad really Scotland. It's all integrated. It, it's all integrated in some manner, so that way he can afford one of those handheld rigs that he yeah. can attach his cell phone to to eliminate that shake as much as possible. Oh, I get, I get. You should see some of the stupid messages I got. I went to a graveyard. It was last year I got one, and this was the best one. I went to a graveyard, right? Well, cemetery actually, because it's in the other cemetery. But never mind that. A story for another time, but anyway, um, <laughs> when somebody somebody messages me and says, "Listen," I says, "I know this is annoying, but could you read me every single gravestone in the graveyard?" And I went, "There's you know, there's nine hundred people buried here. You realize how long that would take?" You know, we had somebody who came with one of our subscription booms. Who commented, it's like, oh, I'm kind of lost. Can you make a summary video of all the stuff you guys talked about so far? <laughs> Do you realize how much we jump around? <laughs> it's like, there's, Wait. that's why I made that little video saying there's no, you know, continuity that you have to watch the shows in order to understand things. It's like, people are ideas, right? I'm lucky. I've managed to find quite a lot of nice good subscribers, right? A lot of really so, good subscribers. Speaking but, of idiots, I'm surprised I haven't seen him tonight. But your brother. He's playing GTA I've... 5 with, with, with Muzzy. Oh, is he, is he actually? But no. Mm-hmm. I know he gets bothered because any dates that are posted on the shows I... are in the American format. But I put the dates on the in the shows when they were recorded, so people could tell if they actually mm-hmm. bothered to read. I know <laughs> if it's pre recorded or live. I know. Did you know? See me comment back to him and put him. Yeah, I saw that, Twitter. but I, I I didn't see any reactions out of him. So that's to, why I just had to me, say it. He messaged me in uh, Facebook afterwards, and I had to message him back. Like, yes. Are you on tonight again? He asked me, "Is this live or is this on tonight?" It's just a bit slow, you know. I was about to say, I thought here I was thinking you were the dumb one. <laughs> see, ladies and gentlemen, this, this is why we work so good together. Because after the show, you'll see me physically strangle them. Oh, well, that's impressive, considering we're over oh, eight thousand miles from each other. I'm going to use my spiritual gifts tonight. Oh, Galactic Federation of Light. Let me join and go into his room while he sleeps and strangle him. 
See what's going to happen now is, okay, I'm worried that if somebody actually goes into your room and strangles you through the night, the police will think it was me because I've said that. Again, you're over 8,000 miles from me. Right. They'd be pretty fucking impressed. I know, I know. But see, see, see going, <laughs> Drew's abandoned paranormal vlog. See, see. I got a hat, by the way. Do you want to see my hat? My new hat. I thought you said heart there for a second. <laughs> Do you want to see my heart? No, I got a heart for, to stop my ears. Figure. You should see my ears, by the way. They're luminous red for the sun. What do you think? I kind of get it on, but I think that'll do. What do you think? You should have worn it like that throughout the show. (sighs) (laughs) You've just went and joined the Madness Network. Thank you for subscribing. We're all mad here. (laughs) Like anything, yeah. yeah, Welcome to Bald and Bonkers. Don't worry, you get to keep your hair. I think it's. I think it looks awesome. What do you think in the chat, guys? Is is Pete there? Does Pete uh, make the naked big foot son in the chat? What do you think, Pete? Oh, I think it's, it's me. I, I could oh, be Mark. No, uh, Drew, Chris, Chris would not last in Australia. You going to Australia? There you go. Are you there? Oh, that's, that's like an Irish accent. And like, what happened to Martin to there? That's not really Australia. Like. You ain't gonna be uh, surviving in the outback, mate. Well, how how did you do that? I kind of do that. How did you? It, do it just. That? If I if I'm around Australian people for too long, it'll slip by itself, and I Where look like I'm an around, ass. When have you been around Australian people? <laughs> See, people are jealous of this hat. I'm telling you, it's the new, it's a new hang. It's a new, it's a new fashion. I'm starting. It's a new fashion. It's a new fashion. Look, it's it's anti it's anti earthquake. You know that, you know. Oh. Uh, no, yeah, Drew. Like, next thing you know, that oh. Chris could be screaming from the toilet because a python reached out from the toilet seat and bit him right on the arse. That's nice. You got a bit Irish in that. There. I know, right at, right at the, right at the, right at the, right at the arse. Yeah. I tell that dead over there. Drew's abandoned paranormal. Aye, she was running about the graveyard last night. She was, aye. and she got bit by a midgey. Oh, the midgies were biting again. And no, the crew are not little people. I'm, I've never actually heard people call them midges. And well, what they're, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the only one have who had to ask. Mention. I'm not the only one who had to ask. <laughs> Everybody in their lifetime in Scotland gets bitten by a midge. Look, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm shocked. I didn't get bit while I was over there. To be honest, mm. yeah, but looking, then again, looking for the midges. No, I was looking for the Nessie. Mm, so you see, I think that's something totally different. I think that's like a top or something. Everybody's been, everybody's wants to see him there. Eel, eel, uh, it's, it's an eel. eel. It's a big eel. It's a big eel. You know, there's a lot. Bishop Brian said he's going. He wants to go and see Nessie. Hey, I don't blame him. Uh, <clears> if you get the opportunity to go, go. I, I... Well, I was going to send Drew's abandoned paranormal vlog out in a wee road, but well, go pro you gonna... Yeah, you're gonna send her with a dinghy. A dewy dinghy, aye, aye, dewy dinghy. Do you this is just erupting into sheer fucking madness now. But you that know? is why oh, we are I think bald and bonkers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, what's on this week, Dakota? I, I, I've got no shows this week except for Friday night, which I don't know what I'm doing yet. No. Uh, I'm doing some lives on my other channel through the day. So what are you doing? Playing any Pokemon? Well, hey, don't judge me about Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. What are you playing that for? It's a pile of pish. I watched. I watched about ten minutes of you playing it last night. It was. Oh, hello. I'm a little. I'm this and I'm that. Collecting this. It was, you know, jump about. There was like squares and stuff. Like that. I was like, what the fuck is this? He's watching. The fuck you. Uh, a, On I'm behalf a, of the yeah, millennials. Man. Fuck you. Um. Playing GTA, a man's game, well, where I can run on endless bots. Yeah, I got bored with GTA, wanted to get a Nintendo Switch, which is actually considered good for like m- reflex. But anyway, but no, actually, this week, uh, I don't know if it's going to be live, but this Tuesday, mm. I'm going to be a guest on the Typical Skeptic podcast. Mm. How's it going? Apparently, he's a fan. Uh, Elena apparently recommended me, so. Hello. Yeah, 
I think he gets jealous that I get more attention from her. Nah, it's, it's all right. I get, I get all the, I got all the, I got all the, all the, all the and weapons and stuff that are fooling me about my Ghost Squad channel. It's absolutely fine, you know. It's, it's, it's fine. But look, I did, I did. I, I did okay, I just had, a, I had a joke just pop in my head, but I don't want to say. I it. do more the ghosty stuff, ladies and gentlemen, and he does more of the alien stuff. I'm into ghosts. He's into probes. You know, he's always going to win. He's in that necrophilia. You should see the I'm in Xenophilia. He's got his big silver lands that, with flashes that come out the end of everything. It's a story for that. Hey, you're the one that keeps fucking asking for him. Yeah, I think they get fed up with me. I was annoying them, you know. <laughs> At least with the you probes, you don't have to deal with you better watch blunters some of between your legs. You better watch some of my wicked witches in the chat might put you in a jar. Oh, didn't they already? Then they uh, put both of us in a jar at one point. Come on, I was there for that okay, interview. Come on, so. it's about a big jar. Then let's let's see. Yeah, that's Tuesday. I got that podcast interview tomorrow. I have a business meeting that's going to be right before I go to my regular job, but hopefully it'll be worth it because I will be dealing with one of our, our business partners, none other mm-hmm. than William Shatner, for a movie mm-hmm. that Baldwin Mockers is actually part of. Yes. What what is it? Is it a an eighteen rated one or is it like a twenty four year rated? I've just noticed something. Why is my nose so red? You noticed that? You know what they say? Well, it's a little early for Christmas, don't you think? There, Rudolph. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer has a very shiny nose. I was never. And if you ever saw it, the hunter would like to know. We've went bad. The quote is going to be seeing William Shatner. Uh, William Shatner's a great singer, by the way. See if you did meet him, tell him that I think he's a brilliant singer. Yeah, it's over a Zoom call tomorrow. It's mainly the call for the logistics about getting his new movie out Space. called You Can Call Me Bill. It's a documentary mm. about his career. Mm. Something that he's want to do because he's starting to realize that he doesn't have much long much longer on this earth, so him, he wanted to do something special. Tell him Scotty wants to interview you. Trust me, I've been trying, but I can't get it past his people. Tell me, Captain, we're all gonna die! We're doomed! Because if they will think about it, I think an interview with William Shatner would be awesome. He loves doing those unexplained mystery shows. So I think that would be an awesome show to have. What's that, Dobby? Dobby, sorry, I Uh-oh. had trouble brewing on the street. Tried to call in the cops, but not answering. The police force, they're probably all sitting eating donuts and drinking food and coffee and Ooh, Dobby, yeah, hopefully, you know, hope you do all right. You know, hopefully yeah. it's nothing too serious, but, you know, it is a summer. And please, for the love the of God, people, madness. stay off your phones while driving. I know. I know. I scared the shit out of a kid because I had to blare my horn because they were coming close and clipping me while I was driving. Yeah. So that was, uh, and I saw they were on their phone. I went, <laughs> they will damn near throw yeah. it out their window. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you on Friday. We'll be, I've actually got an interesting case we're going to talk about. I'll set it up through the week. So. Um, and, uh-huh. maybe, and uh, I got a, quite a few leads out on several different guests so we'll see what happens next weekend because well who wants to start a bing some bingo cards mm. <laughs> yeah the question if you want to support bold and bonkers please uh, send it through paypal for bold and bonkers because we're no monetized because we talk the truth you know, like other channels on youtube that talk absolute utter shite and stick up for basically the folk that are idiots <clears throat> yeah. You know? Yeah, of course. You know, we have merch, we have donations, links. If you want to publish a book through us, and by the way, I think October finally sent in a manuscript. Did you, did you send one in? So there you go. I'm actually, I, yeah, I got I, it. I might have found the else with you, Tay. Uh, well, right, don't yeah, overload me, man. It's only, it's, only, it's only like five million pages or something. Yeah, what is it? 
what is it your your style of writing my Main, god my five writing. million pages only two sentences and he expects me to make a book out of I that will, come on I've, I've, I've got one i was born i died the end I think you need to utilize Chat GPT to write your books more. At least there's there'll be content. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I was going to put some of my subscribers. It's free, man. I, it's I, free, I man. Name these other because of legal legal reasons. I've had to name these other names. So that means he's talked shit about you. Yes. So I'm. What's that? Wait. Oh, that's like a good. Yes. Say that to people that I don't like. Oh, good, couldn't I? I never thought that's of that. A, I could see there was this big baldy asshole that used to annoy me. I wonder. I I'll have to put that one in. Uh, we should probably end the show here, otherwise we're just I, I we're just, just rambling at this point. Rambling, have a good week, ladies and Goodbye, gentlemen. Everybody. And if the skies let you look up, because you never know what you're going to see these days. Was that a whale yes, call? Exactly. Thanks for tuning into the Bald and Bonkers show. If you enjoyed the show and want to show your support, head over to our website at baldandbonkers.net. There, you'll find our merch, services, and more. Thanks for being part of the Bald and Bonkers family, and we'll see you on the next episode. And remember, always keep an open mind and an open heart. You never know what may happen to...